everyone, Vason here. Welcome back. There's more ease and turny. Sorry. I came down like 20 minutes early. Fiddling stuff with stream. Figured I uh, needed it. I haven't updated the stream deck with sound effects since I started up my new computer. I totally spaced it. I haven't used it much. I started doing that. Lost track of time. Five minutes late. I even brought soup down here to eat it so I could just chill while waiting for stream to start. Didn't even get through my food. And now I'm all sweaty because the soup is hot. And uh, it was cold. So I'm in my, my, my big old hoodie thing here. And now it's stinking hot. So hold on. What's up, Cortanis? How you doing, my dude? Oh. Oh, this is great. That's it. He's off. There we go. Oh. Hi, Poopy. Over. Oh, Go in. All right. Ah, what's cracking? Let's see. Um. Well, that was weird. Something flashed. The light, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Let's see. Yesterday, they dropped a brand new character on us, like halfway through the. uh the trial that was wild. I was thinking, I was thinking about it th today, and he looks so goofy. That guy. Oh, I just realized. I don't. Wow. Do I not need that le that light? Check it out. Like, my green screen's actually okay. Hold on a minute. Can you? It changes nothing. I don't even know if I need that light anymore. Yeah, okay. I, maybe I don't need that light anymore. It's been down there. been using it forever. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. The guy, he looks like if Wolverine and the character from Fairy Tale had a baby. That's what he kind of looks like to me. Getting stuff done in 14? That's totally cool. I'm glad you popped in to just say, hey. I am doing great. I'm excited. Rebirth comes out tomorrow. Unfortunately, I still haven't gotten it delivered. I did see the UPS guy drive by today during his route. And he drives and he comes by at like the earliest at five o'clock. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to have an, an early day stream. Um, maybe we'll just start at seven like normal. If, if that's if I get it at five and it gets done installing by seven. So I'm excited for that. I guess we're going to find out how far we get in a Ace Attorney here. Um, Kira said we, I probably, we probably have like two or three more streams of this. So we're going to find... Um, some time to finish this up because I, I don't want to I don't want to forget about it obviously uh, I definitely want to finish it at least the first one definitely want to finish the first one gonna have to do if I go hard on reverse reverse rebirth I'm gonna and we do that for like weeks on end I'm gonna forget all the evidence so I'm gonna try to get through as fast as we can here What's a booty patent, Jada? Um, so we're gonna do that. I'm excited. Um, I have the today, or I have the day off tomorrow and Friday. So we're gonna we're gonna go hard on some rebirth. Jada yeah, wants some booties. Want some boobies, patent? Want some boobies, patent? Look, at, it's a mess down here, dude. Don't look at it. Want some boobies, patent? Hello, dear. Oh, Jesus Christ! Jesus. Oh, oh, hey, um. Okay, I'm good. I get this boy. I get this boy right here. Hey. You want some more right here? Oh, yep. Yeah. Come on. Go, girl. Go have a good nap. Go have a good nap. Ah, oh, let's see. Oh. Uh oh. Hey. Oh, that's what the flashing was. My, my monitor flickered on and off. Again, it just... How did I do that? I must have bumped something. Maybe I'm gonna have to check my cords. See if something's loose or something, because my main monitor just flickered off like three times. Anyways. Oh. Hey, I just noticed. I'm wearing this stinking heart rate monitor. 
It's not showing up. Can't have that. This thing's uncomfortable. So it better be showing up. Oh. It says I have zero beats per minute. Oh. Battery level 100%. That's a lie. Zero beats per minute. Battery level 10% now. Ah, there we go. Beats per minute, 110. There we go. Ah, it's figured it out. Controller? Controller died. Oh, my Yammerin. Controller died. Have a good time in the 14 Cortanas. Kick some butts. Uh, yes, this one. Okay. Uh, back in our office. Oh, right. Oh no. So I came downstairs today and uh, my computer had black screened. So we're just gonna have to hope that the... me just tweaking these knobs is close enough. That, that's gonna be the hope. Um, um, Mr. Wright, so what's going on with the case anyway? I, I'm a little confused. Is it? Does it sound too mousy? No, I, I think that might be okay. Hi, I'm a little confused. Huh? Well, uh... Let's see. What is going on? That is a good question. I have no idea what's happening. Um... Oh, crap. I don't know if my, um... My inner monologue is set right either. Whenever you set... Or computer turns off, obviously. It, do you, resets the stuff back to their defaults that I normally keep and I've been having to change them a lot for this game because too many voices uh the victim detective Bruce Goodman was stabbed to death at 5 p.m on the 21st I thought he was stabbed I thought he was stabbed at like four and he died an hour, within an hour and a half later he died in the prosecutor's parking lot in the police department's evidence room oh that's right One guy died in two spots. What's this? In the... Oops. What's this in the evidence room part? The prosecutor's office and the police department are 30 minutes apart by car. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Or try to, at least. All right, let's do it. Glad she's in good spirits, but I'm not sure she's going to be much help with this. And, like, Phoenix has become, like, a downer. He's a bummer in this one. Don't be so sure, Mr. Wright. Wait, did I say that out loud? Look, we're in this together. Whoops. Look, we're in this together, right? I'll prove that these thick brimmed glasses of mine aren't just for show. Let's go. Science awaits us. Let's do some science. Sciencing time. Still here, huh? Not the uh, evidence room? You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department murder. There wasn't even a body down there. Who cares? I think it's going to be significant. Yeah, it was only our victim who was killed in their evidence room. No biggie. Besides, my sister would never do such a thing. I know it. That oil drum. Was it empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor. It was brimming with water. Hmm. Sussy baka. My sister, racing evidence at the crime scene? Never. Even though she says they don't get along, Emma really likes her sister. That's not it at all. Can she read my mind? It's just... We're both professionals at what we do, and I trust her. Big words for a high school student. Well... Oh, it's me. Well, whether there was blood on the floor or not, the water in the oil drum washed it all away. <laughs> Ignore the strength. Of my science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. Huh? What's that grin for? This situation calls for one thing that is luminal testing fluid. Luminal? Blood is sticky stuff, you know. You can't just wash it away with a little water. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. That's true. That's why, like, crime people, cops, detectives, and stuff carry a big thing of coke in a lot of their cars. Coke as in <laughs> Coca-Cola. 
Wash away blood. But wouldn't the police have already done those tests? Never trust anybody's eyes but your own, Mr. Wright. Just give it a try. Me? Why do I have to do it? Because I'm the video game. I'm a minor. I can't even drink yet. We're testing blood stains with this stuff, not drinking it. Here, look. I'll lend you these glasses. Huh? You had an extra pair of those things? No. <laughs> this is great. Just for blood reaction, just spray the luminol on it. Like this, see? Press. Enter. You spray it on. Okay, let's find us some blood stains. Enter. Why isn't it, um... Hey, look what we find in boys. I can see her eyes shining behind those glasses. So is this a blood stain? Very glowy. Uh, it is. It's so, uh... Emma, you're shaking. Oh, does she have, uh... What is that called? Hemophobia? Scared of blood? Or, uh... It's not scared of blood, but, uh, makes, makes uh, you lightheaded. It's just, uh, this is my first time seeing real blood. Scientific investigation in action. Okay. Uh, well, we definitely know that this is a blood stain. But it doesn't... But doesn't something strike you as odd? Scientifically speaking, of course. What's not about this, scientifically? The amount of blood, I'd say. Also, the blood's location. Both, actually. Uh, because wouldn't the blood... Wasn't he stabbed, like, right behind that car? I'm gonna say the amount. The perpetrator and Detective Goodman fought here, right? Don't you think there'd be a little more blood? I definitely think so. I mean... Look at all the blood on the sole of the victim's shoe. It is pretty strange. If they fought here, there'd ha have to have been more blood than this. Hey, Mr. Wright, I'm gonna mark up the floor plans we find a blood stain, okay? I'll mark up the floor plans when we find a blood stain, okay? Sweet, thanks, Emma. See, I'm pretty handy to have around, right? Uh, yeah, and this stuff's pretty handy too. I saved up my allowance to buy that. Luminal testing fluid received from the one. <laughs> One very proud looking Emma Sky. Solution used for scientific investigation. Finds blood traces. Spray to use. I can't be sure that the police will reveal all their evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. That sounds like, uh, withholding evidence. Then let's drag the evi hidden evidence out into the light of day. Yeah. It feels like we really are, we're really investigating crime now, doesn't it? Guess I should give this a spray on anything suspicious. Ah. Oh, it's you. Ah, I wonder how that fluid of yours would react in it to a nice deli pop. It's time! She's always around. You only trust your own eyes, hmm? Not bad, you do. God, that looks delicious. Stay old deli boxes on the house. I would probably still eat it. Day old, that looks delicious. Sorry, it's just... That kind of lead it in doesn't really get my mouth watering. So, uh, you were a detective, weren't you, Mrs. Star? Yes, it was a long time ago. Well, two years ago. No matter how hard in the criminal when they faced me. It's because that stare right there. They coughed it up. Coughed it up? They confessed. Babbled like babies. You know. I may seem like a demon sometimes, but I can be an angel too. I wouldn't doubt it. Every day I dragged the dirt out of the mouths of the suspect after suspect. Before long, they called me. The cop of Queen. Oh, and here I thought someone had gone food poisoning from your lunches. <laughs> and you were let go, uh, fired? I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if these prim and proper prosecutors hadn't let me go, it'd still be one today. It's all because of that case. The SL9 incident. Oh, I can't believe you... Dude, she just keeps outing herself left and right. SL9? Wait, she doesn't mean... I 
think she means. I do, I do think she means. You suddenly put me in a tight spot today. My apologies, Miss Star, but... No, no, it's okay. It's not, it was my fault. My pride got in the way. Oh, we know. Ha! I witnessed everything from the security room right there. But I was afraid that wouldn't sound very convincing enough, you see. Just fucking tell the truth. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Sorry. You're lying on the witness stand. That's unforgivable. Uh-oh. Grim the eye. Yep. It took a girl to forget what's important here. Even if, the play even if the place I witnessed the events from was different, I still saw what I saw. I saw Chief Prosecutor Sky stab a man in cold blood, and that testimony still stands. I swear it on my honor as a detective. She stabbed Goodman. Maybe he was a zombie and that's why she was stabbing him. He came back from the dead. I know this photograph has something important to tell us, but what? Okay. Um, can you excuse yourself, please? This is where the cars leave the lot. This is where the cars leave the lot. The arrow on the ground makes it look more like an entrance. Okay. Yep, we've read this. Oh, yeah. It's relatively... I remember that. Okay. Really, nothing else. Okay. Uh... Actually, you know what? So this is the famous oil drum. Well, no time like the present. I'll try to kick it over myself. Yeah. That's, That's okay. Don't cry. That Lana Sky must be one strong woman. Well... Also, that one's empty, so she'd have to be even stronger. You block us through there. That's where the visitors park. Yep. Oh, okay. Um, we're going to redo that because there is some new stuff here. All right. You block us through there. That's where visitors park. So, so, Miss Star climbed over this fence? It seems so, yeah. Fence is nine feet high, at least. No, oh, no time like the prison. I think I'll give it a try. Be careful. Eek. It's okay, don't cry. Maybe there's a Lunchland Olympics team? <laughs> okay, maybe we should observe all these. That's about... Or, that's, her. that's about as red as a sports car. Some, some... She said something about a sports car. I don't know what she said. Yep, it's pretty red, all right. The body was found in the Edgeworth's car trunk. The lock on the trunk was broken too. So the question is, why did Miss Sky choose his car? Do it, model car, is it? I don't think that's relevant. I think it was called a sedan or a coupe, something like that. Those are car types, Mr. Wright, not models. You're a guy, aren't you? Mr. Wright, you're supposed to know these things. Maybe it is about time I got my driver's license. Block. This area is reserved for prosecutors. Defense attorneys are regulated to B block. My dream is a day when I will be able to park my car here. I'll go over to B block to buy my hamburgers from you, Mr. Wright. I'm not planning on giving up my job that soon. Okay, I remember that one. See, that's the problem. Some of these we've done, and some of them are updating. That's where we found that note. 2 slash 21 SL9. SL9 incident. The case that was due for transferral the day of the murder. And the detective in charge of the case was the victim. I wonder what kind of case this SLI incident thing was. It's kind of... It's kind of hard to guess just knowing the case number. Uh... You think, um... Star will tell us anything? I kind of have a feeling. I kind of have a feeling she'll say something. But that's where Miss Star saw the incident from. You can probably see quite a lot from up there. Hmm. That probably means she, she wasn't lying when she said she saw Miss Sky stab him. Where's the security guard anyway? Well, this is just something I heard. But apparently, he went out to buy coffee for Miss Star. That woman is a force to be reckoned with. Whoa. I hit the wrong thing. Also, the game decided to uh, not go through the the game channel this time, so it's all linked. Look, a door! 
must mean something. I'm not sure that doors mean anything. No, they won't open. A mysterious lock. I failed to see what's mysterious about it. That's right. We need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Oh, partition, right? Oh, this is the famous divider. It sure helped us knock a hole in that testimony today. Come to think of it, this divider helped our case more than the actual witness. The great divider would stop the old parking block. It's just a wall, scientifically speaking. All right. Here! A phone! Let's see if it works. It'd be interesting if it was back online. Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears! No, my ears! Maybe it's due to the barometric pressure. What is she babbling about? Hey, what did you say? See, you can't hear just fine. The phone's broken. <laughs> I forgot that part. Ha! A letter. Um, not the step letter. What's the difference? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, remember that. The door. Okay, I think we're good. You have anything to say? She does not. Let's move to... Mm. You take a look at this. You... You can spend one... Oh, God. It's the same thing every time. Okay. Uh, let's go to the office. Is Edgeworth going to be here? Oh, probably. Well, this place is as classy as today as it was yesterday. And I'm sure it'll still be just as classy tomorrow, Emma. Incidentally, Edgeworth's not here. I'm sure he's off doing important investigations. I hope that's what he's doing. I guess we'll have to come back. Okay. Uh, There can't be anything new in here, right? Like, it's all saying it's new, but I don't want to click on all these and have it just be the same thing. It's even busier here today than it was yesterday. The detectives are running around so fast they're blurring. I suppose it makes sense. A detective did get killed here after all. Go to the evidence room. The scene is a crime. According to the pamphlet, we got all... We got it at the front desk. Here it is. She's like a kid in an amusement park. Oh, a real crime scene. Let's go look. Yeesh. I would not want to be looking at a crime scene. Especially when I'm that young. Is this thing going to say anything? It's still writhing about today. That's so creepy. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's dancing. Speaking of dancing, the whole police department has been dancing around like crazy since yesterday. Oh, snap. I'm glad I clicked on that because something is happening. Can I take out the ba his batteries? I just can't help but feel he's going to do something naughty. Oh, please do take out his batteries. He is creepy. Look, that tr patrolman is saluting the other guy. He must be a detective. Oh, I thought it was going to be the, the joke one. You idiot! What were you thinking? Where's your head? Sir! It's right here, sir! I guess he wasn't saluting. He was showing the detective where his head was. <laughs> you make a good pair. The detectives in there look pretty busy. Just imagine, right now, behind those doors, a police trauma in action. Somehow the thought fails to excite me. I always get excited. Oops. I always get excited when I come to the police station. Why is that? It just feels like I've jumped into a movie. Huh? You know, with all the police and criminals. Well, I don't know if this is all that exciting. Here it is! Look at those two officers over there. They're probably talking about the latest bust. Okay, this is what we read. Oh, that's the campaign thing. Has this changed? Want posters hanging on the bulletin board. Call 911. Hardly look human. Okay, so there seems to be nothing here. Oh! Oh! Since when did that unlock? Should I go there first? 
Why everyone looks deadly serious here. Oh, there was a vicious murder of a detective down at the police department. Yeah, but the same detective was also killed at the same time in the prosecutor's lot. No, <clears throat> that makes my head hurt. Well, first things first, let's go check the police department crime scene. Yes, you sound like dead set on investigating. Don't mess up, or we could wind up dead. I doubt anyone wants more mysteries on the on dead or dead bodies around here right now. It doesn't look like anyone's going to help us much either. I don't think this is going to be worthwhile. So this is the police mascot, isn't it? The blue badger, the future star of the police force. The design's a little changed from the one outside. Ah, well, the dancing blue badger TM is still under development, you see. You have a trademark? Absolutely. It's cutting edge stuff. Very now. I showed this doll here to my daughter and she burst into tears. Mm. I'm sure in the moving mock-up outside then, you'll give her nightmares. <laughs> the poster of a female police officer. Wait, no, that's the ladies' babes in uniform calendar. My bad. That must be the chief detective. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Detective killed in the evidence room. Tell no one outside the police department. No! I told that old lady at the restaurant everything. Oh, Wendy? Someone's getting into motion. These are the detectives' desks. There are computers and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I'd expect. I guess the detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desks. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. I know, the killer used dry ice. If you put it between the latch and the door, the room should be sealed shut. This is good. I'll win a writer's award for sure. He's not writing a report. He's writing a novel. Anything else? PewJ to the stinky fart. That's his stinky fart for the stinky doggy. All right, let's go to ooh, here. New place. Oh God, it's him. This is the evidence room entrance. What's the decor in this place? It's very eccentric. According to the pamphlet, this is the guard station for the evidence room. So, beyond that door is the evidence room. The scene of the crime? I'm sure. I'm sure it sure seems that way. Oh. Oh. What's wrong? It's those cacti. They're so prickly. So imposing. It's hard to think straight. You can't handle the cacti. Stay out of the desert. I'm so confused. Why are they imposing? What I want to know is, if this is a guard station, where's the guard? I have a feeling I know who he is already. You think so? There's a hat. Oops! He's sure prickly. It must be a re the real deal. So why are you putting your hat on it? I would think that just one big... I think... I would think just one big one would be sufficient. He's cacti. I look like my sister, actually. How so? <laughs> the music. Encased in a cold, rigid shell with spines pointing in every direction. Just like her. I'm not so sure I see the resemblance and then the music cuts off immediately. That's funny. It's more an attitude thing than a physical similarity. Oh, that, that, well played. Well played, developers. That was funny. The swinging door makes the place look like some kind of saloon. But look, it's nailed shut. You can't get in that way. Of course not. If you went in through here, the cactus would fall over. Ouch! Oh, is that going to be important? Also, why is there a lasso on the... The ground over there. I'd say it'd be more of a yarg myself. Why is there booze right here? Oh, I can't observe it. Texas. Looks like there's a video feed from the evidence room here. There's a light blinking below the monitor. It says recording. Maybe we could use this converter to check on who went in and out of here. Oh my god, more booze. Oh my god, there's booze everywhere! Jeez. There's a security guard uniform hanging there. It looks more like a costume than a uniform, honestly. Leather jacket, leather pants, leather... What was that called again? A punchy? Punchy? Pinchy? I don't know, a poochy! Poncho. Hmm. Wait, maybe that wasn't it. It's a poncho, but I think I'll keep that information to myself for the time being. That's funny. 
Why is this here? This is very weird. Look on the floor. A lasso. Hmm. Looks like it's set up to trap something. Trap? Here? Wait, I know. Maybe someone was trying to catch a wild bull in here, but the lasso missed. Okay, Emma. You sure have an active imagination. I think I said that yesterday. Or at least the day before. The evidence room is beyond that door. I just walk in. It will open. You thought it'd be open? I think we need someone's permission to go in there first. Okay. Uh, Gumshoe! I need your help. Uh, Bummer. How do I get to, um... Oh, she's got that thing now. Detention center, here you go. Please be here. Looks like Miss Guy is in questioning. Fuck! Detectives aren't yelling at her. How did you kill him in two places at the same time? Can you imagine? How's she supposed to answer that? Wait a second. Didn't Miss Gant say they'd arrested a suspect in the police department murder? Let's come back later. Uh. Someone arrested someone somewhere. Is he back yet? Nothing to talk to you about. Alright. What to do? Well, where should we begin? Oh, well, isn't it obvious we should begin with that, you know, uh, that thing? The mystery of the victim, I guess? How could one man, Detective Goodman, be killed in two places simultaneously? Oh, well, you see. We should go to the police department. The evidence room, was it? Uh, I'm not being very useful here, am I? No, no, you're being very helpful. I already did that. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I know you're going through a tough time, Worthy. These are what with all the rumors. You were even in the defendant's chair just this past December. Okay, maybe Edgeworth will be there now. It was that business with him not reading the officer's report. Ah, about the killing the police department, right? Okay, that might be significant. That guy's creepy. The chief of police was right about that, but I can't help but think. Someone at the police department doesn't like Edgeworth. Okay, let's go... Back here. Fuck. Shit, dude. Okay. Fuck. Guess we just go observe everything. See if there's anything new. He won such a prestigious word. Why would he just leave it on the couch? Yeah, you'd think he'd want to show the thing off more than the giant steel samurai. And again, Edgeworth has always been like that. Really? Hey, I should write this down. Tell me what it was like as a kid. Back in elementary school, he won awards for all kinds of things. Speech contests, essays, playing the flute, golf tournaments. That doesn't exactly sound like typical elementary school stuff. But he always hated at receiving awards. He'd make some smart remark like, I know the path I walk, no one needs to tell me. That's how he's always been. Kind of gets on your skin, doesn't it? Mr. Edgeworth has such a comfy sofa. Yep, take a nap. Yep. 
I'm dreaming, dreaming about it, what he does. Sofa hair. <laughs> Wow, this jacket's even nicer than the usual ones. This must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket? Right. I've never seen him wear it. Oh, yeah. Yep, remember that. My, 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 what an amazing bouquet. No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead, Wendy. Yeah, that's the old lady. Between a rock and a hard place, Wendy. Nope. I think we need to find her. Oh, cute! What a pretty tea set. I go for more instant tea bags myself. Amazing! The drawer below is filled with packets of tea. Oh yeah, then he organizes them. Work does. Quite tidy as you might expect. It's polished, so you can see your own reflection. Uh huh. This is his chessboard. Yep, blue in a tight spot. Case files. Receiving the ladder. He's scared of the ladder or the, the heights. Okay. Okay, so there's nothing here. Alright, let's... Just in case, I'm pretty sure we did all this. Cars. Button A. Car. One, two, three. Oh, oh here you go. This rope, is it? Yep. It laid in the outline of the victim's body. Oh, right. Oh, she... That's something different. The victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. Oh, wait, no, that's... <laughs> Never mind. I remember that bit. Wait, can I talk to her? Bummer. All right, move. Still not here. Did everything here, right? Creepy thing. Nothing over there. Move to All right, let's do this thingy. Crime fighting campaign. Nice slogan. Oh yeah, this fingerprint scent thing. Are there oh yeah, the her, her idea of pandas? Nothing. Okay. Uh... The heck, dude. It sucks. This is the only other thing, man. Oh, that's different. I was gonna say, I'm just gonna get stuck constantly in the stupid talking about the tea set. Or the tea. Um, what do you think about this? The S9 incident is written on that knife. And on that note. Good thing. Good thing was the head detective on the case, you know. Really? The knife is evidence from that case, the murder weapon. Oh, it was due for a transfer to the very day that good man was killed. What's up, Yuri? Holy crap! I haven't seen you in a minute. How you been, dude? Get a cookie! Get a cookie! Get a cookie! Come get it! Come get it, so cookie! Come on! Come get this, Eagle. Um, more cookies. As I suspected, it's a nine isn't over. Not yet. 
Do you think you could tell us more about the SL9 incident? Please do. Oh, what? Maybe show this? Um, what do you think about this? It's written on the knife and on that. No, yep, you said all this. I think you could tell us more about the SL9 incident. And then it comes, opens this? Why? Maybe this guy? I had one of those up until two years ago. Back when you were the cop of Queen, right? We found this ID card here in this parking lot. But there's no mistaking that. It's definitely Goodman. But. It's the same idea. Alright, it's the same idea as the man who was killed in the police department. I got some doppelgangers. That's impossible. I wish I could be so sure. Fuck, she's not being helpful at all. Alive and kicking sometimes at a spike? I completely understand that feeling. That's what I, uh, I've been living on for most of my life. <laughs> yeah, especially for the past couple months. Please not. Tell me more about the stinking incident. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh my god. The exact weird triggers of this, this, this chapter are awful. You can never find it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We should go to the police department, the evidence room. We can't get in there. Edgeworth isn't in his office. Ugh. Oh, this chapter sucks. That's not true. The chapter's good, but the fucking... Like, no direction is really bad in this one. She has nothing to talk about. this willy-nilly <laughs> someone use a marker to write their name on this emma sky don't tell me you bring this with you everywhere you go well you never know where something might go down just what kind of world do you think we live in Ugh. why she's telling me nothing dude so unuseful. Ah! I, dude, I might look up a walkthrough of this one just to get through it because I've done everything besides literally talk to her and present her with every single piece of evidence just to have her scream about tea over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Because there's no one else to talk to. Fuck it. It's annoying, but literally there's nothing else to do. We did that. 
Uh. Oops. That's maybe new. I think he owes me his gratitude. Gratitude? Why, if I hadn't witnessed the crime... This Rogers would have been the suspect. Hmm. I wonder. Still, it's strange. Why didn't our chief prosecutor have, have her own murder weapon ready? Okay. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I don't think she cares about this. La 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 This is annoying. Oh shit, this is that note. We already did this. Here we go. It was when I grabbed the chief prosecutor on the shoulder. She dropped that phone on the pavement. That's when you heard her talking about the muffler, right? Why didn't... Um, why isn't there any scuffs or anything on our phone? Little did I know, it was a trap. The red car's muffler and the prosecutor's red muffler. What was Miss Sky really trying to say, I wonder? Yeah, see, a lot of these are just babble. It actually isn't helping anything. If you think about it, I could have taken the picture from the guard room. Even I get flustered sometimes. So you went straight to the scene of the crime? I rushed towards the chain link fence in an effort to stop the murder. Here we go. This is new. That's when I took this photo, yes. In other words... In other words... Five minutes after the crime? Five minutes are the whole problem. The whole of my testimony, as it were. Five minutes weren't if the problem, Miss Star. You lying was the problem. Listen, little girl. I've had my testimony discarded before. I was going to have it disregard disregarded again. Just like that time. Oh, finally something new. That time. Never mind. I thought it was gonna be something different. Nope. This doob dee da ba doob dab doob 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 dee doob 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 We already showed her this. Okay, literally showed her everything. So there has to be some sort of change somewhere. Oh my god, there's no change anywhere! How incredibly frustrating. Oh wait, uh, maybe she has something to talk about now. Oh, thank- What? What did I do to make that pop up? I showed her the two SL9 things. What else did I do to make that pop up? That's annoying. That, er, that incident really opened my eyes to the truth. But nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable? To who? Two years ago, it was the biggest case I'd ever handled. At least when the prosecutors were desperate for decisive evidence. So they didn't solve it? On the contrary, it was solved quite clearly. The criminal was caught and executed. Executed? Yes, the criminal got what was coming to him. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. The only problem was, they never did find decisive evidence. Not a shred. What? The criminal was executed, right? On the basis of evidence of, so of a sort. Made up evidence. Whoa. What do you mean? They executed someone with fabricated evidence? This part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case was dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen, others found themselves out of a job. Um. Shouldn't they be imprisoned for that? And you were one of those? Myself and one other person. You know well. Wait, could it be? 
Exactly. Detective Jake Marshall. Oops. I mean, Police Department Security Detain- Detail Officer Jake Marshall. Oops. Shit. See, that's what you get for fabricating evidence. I can't feel bad for you. Tell me about him. As professional detectives, we investigated that case from every angle. Jake was particularly determined. And then it was over. And he was demoted. However, he hasn't forgotten. And neither have I. You haven't forgotten SL9? There's another side of that case. A hidden side. That's where we're that's what we're after now. So you're blaming someone else? And no one has come. And no one up in their fancy offices can stop us. Wait! Whose lunch did you sell? Poison. There are only one reason I come to sell lunches in this accursed office. I come here to meet old friends. Boyfriends that can help me investigate. A star's old boyfriends? How many does she have? Just when all the detectives on SL9 have disappeared, we find new evidence. There has to be a connection! So, Rookie. What? It seems like you're serious about investigating this case. Yep. Ooh, thanks for the snacks. Then you should take this. Ooh, that's an asparagus piece. A, a Salisbury steak lunch? I know a certain guy who might help you find it. Help you if you tempt him with this treat. Oh, it's not for me. You see, from his start, excellent for putting Officer Marshall in a good mood. Take lunch receipt. Aw, oh, I thought it was for me. Um, the star, Mr. Marshall, is he your, uh, are you in his, are you, you going out? Why do you want to know? I was just wondering what happened to him a long time ago. When he was helping my sister do cases, he was so nice. He got along so well with my sister, it made me jealous. And he was nice to me too back then. This would be when Officer Marshall was a detective. He's so cold. Jake and I are merely cooperating on this investigation. We're putting the past to the rest, as it were. Nothing more than that. I... I see. Thank you. Officer Jake Marshall. Hmm. Please! Have something... Oh. Another... Okay. This place is charged with fr frantic energy, as always. Please! One steak lunch, please. Ah, it's you. Detective Gumshoe. Now's no time for chit-chat, pal. I'm a busy man. What I really need is a steak lunch from Lunchland. Okay, but you can't have this one. Oh, uh, you mean one of these? Actually, it's not for sale. I think I just heard the sound of his heart breaking. Aw. Now's no time for despair. We've got our criminal. Now we just need evidence. Criminal? You mean, you heard about the stabbing in the police department evidence room, right, pal? Is it gonna be Jake? On the same day that the detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed in the police department. And the perpetrator, do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. It's a resident, in fact. It's a bit of a scandal to hit the station in ages. Everything's topsy turvy. But, Detective Gumshoe, who was it? Listen, pal, I know is I need a steak lunch pronto. Standing around here talking isn't going to feel my belly. Okay. Wait! Don't leave! If you want to know more, head on down to the detention center, pal. Questioning should be over. So I figured he's... Detention center. So I figured he's down there having a good cry. Later! Okay. Ran off to the evidence room. Well, this investigation is off to a running start. Okay, can I go to the evidence room, though? I want... Or the guard station. This is where I want to go. Okay, he's still not here. There we go. What's up, Kira? Uh, oh my god. I went live an hour ago.
And Lonnie, how you doing? I feel I do feel better about things. A little. I mean, they caught the person who stabbed Detective Goodman, didn't they? Cookie time. We don't know that. Uh, yeah, I guess they did. Jen wants some cookies! I almost put my hand in my soup. Jen wants some cookies! Get him none cookie. Which is goofing. I checked the last 30 minutes ago and it said you weren't. Really? Um. Untick the. The notification, then do control F5, and then tick it again after it loads. I've had to do that a couple times. Been doing some homework? How's homework treating you? Just to not go too far down the road right now. Things will just get confusing. Oh, what's with the sound effects hurting my ears? What was that? So that's what I'm saying. Me, a puppet trader. I'd say I was the perpetrator again, sir. That's what I'd say. Oh, it's Meeks. Wow. Perfect voice. Oh, hi. Greetings, sir. Great. I know who you are. Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Officer Meekins, are you a guard here at the detention center? No, sir. I'm not, sir. I'm a little lost patrolman on a little lost lamb, sir. Oh, I get it. You heard to deliver a report? No, sir. Uh, how should I say this? Wait. He isn't... Is he? You, Officer Meekins. You didn't... Did you? Uh... Oh, God! That hurts. Perpetrator, Officer Meekins reporting, sir. Oh, my God. What? What? Now this is an unexpected turn of events. Yeah, that that's wild. Homework is dumb. Agreed. I'm starting to wonder if there's something weird with the follow channels feed on my account. Possibly. I've had issues. Before. Uh stop with that noise. Sir, I'm a patrolman with general affairs, sir. Sir! Now, I can hear you fine, Officer Meekins. Why are they letting you carry that around? What happened to your hand? I had some business that day, sir, and so I went to the evidence room, sir. The guard station in front of the room was empty, sir. So normally there's a guard in the evidence room? We know that, Emma. That's right, sir, because evidence is kept in the evidence room, sir. No security officer. It was none other than officer so marshal, sir. Marshal? Matters? Then, sir, I happened to glance at the security room sir, monitor, sir. That's when I saw him, sir. A suspicious person in the evidence room. A suspicious person, sir! This guy, what the fuck? This guy is something else. I didn't even push the button. I wanted to know what he said there. I was too busy watching his animation. What the heck is this guy doing? So what happened then? What? So what happened then? After that, sir, I, I, everything went white. I saw red, I blacked out. When I came to, I was here in the detention center. How long were you out? Days? Um, but I ask, what happened to your hand? Thank you, Emma. I've been asking that this whole time. Sir, there was no one to bandage me, sir. So I did what I could to wrap it up, sir. A bandage on his hand. See, I said that. It's like Miss Guy. And another similarity between the case and the one at the prosecutor's office. First things first, tell us how you hurt, you hurt your hand. I hate this guy already. He's goofball. You aren't the only person that follow. Yep, that's what, like whenever I have uh, notification issues on Twitch, uh, you untick that. I untick that bell, and then retick it. And the other one is, I make sure that one dumb setting in Twitch that it's it's in the notifications something where um it's like smart notifications where it depends it knows if you're on your phone or, or a browser and it sends it a notification to only one. Turn that fucking thing off. It's awful. Because, like, I'll get a notification that someone goes live on my phone. And it's like, I haven't been on my phone for like an hour. But I'm on Twitch on the browser. You would think it would send the notification to the browser. No, it only sent it to my phone for some dumbass reason. So I, I turn that fucking thing off. It's garbage. Uh, tell me about the victim. Um, 
I don't mean to pry, but you are the perpetrator, correct? You, could, you killed Detective Bruce Goodman in the evidence room, right? Sir, please don't look at me with those sad puppy dog eyes, sir. Stop with that. If you have to label me as perpetrator victim, sir, then label me victim. Um, I would, but you happen to be in detention and alive and well at that. Ah, uh, yes, well, that's true, sir. I suppose you could say that. Did you know the victim? Detective Goodman? Well, sir, if I had to label him as a stranger or a total stranger, then I'd say it leans heavily on the total stranger side. So you didn't know him? Sir, I work in a tiny department devoid of light of other creature comforts. I don't know any detectives. If they keep you in a small corner of a room because you're weird and freak everyone out. Well, if he was a total stranger, why did you stab him? Sir, I had no, no, no intention of killing him, sir. None. Nor do I have any recollection of killing him, sir. At least someone around here is more confused than I am. All right, what happened to your hand? About your hand. Did that happen in the curse of the crime? Well, you see, sir. I, uh... Don't you think you should just confess? But, sir. Sir, but there was nothing I could do. Nothing you could do? Sir, to tell the truth, sir, what had happened? What the detective pointed that knife at me, I just hollered, sir. And the next thing I knew, I was unconscious. The next thing you knew, you were... Huh? Then when I opened my eyes, I was alone in the evidence room, sir. All alone. Alone because... Because Detective Goodman had disappeared. What? Then when I looked down, I was gushing blood from my hand, sir. Oh, the shock of the sorrow, sir. Can you imagine how I felt? The victim's body disappeared. Hmm. That's some story. What the fuck happened? Meekins is something. Could be cash issue. That's what um control F5 does. It, it drops cash. Uh. Am I done talking to you? Fuck. She's still here. Oops. He's not here. All right. Uh. Um, you think he's take a look at this? That's it, sir! That's it! That's it! That's what? My head was a blank until this very moment. But, sir, now I remember! I remember, sir! You remember what happened? Correct! That card, that card was the, the cause of it all. This side... Uh, this ID card? Exactly, sir! That's exactly it! Nothing can be more exact, sir! Nothing! I better pry into this one a little deeper. Pry into his chest and pull that fucking thing out of his hand. Uh, anything else? Arm details. Can you tell me what it's what it is that you do remember? Well, sir, you might say I'm a little lost patrolman, a lost little lamb, if you will. I didn't know Detective Goodman, who was in the evidence room. And that's why you thought... And that's why you thought you look, you, he looked suspicious? Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to show me his ID card. Well, that sounds pretty much like by the book so far. That's right, sir! That's what I've been trying to tell you. So you asked Detective Goodman to show you his ID card. What did he do? That's the thing! Suddenly he pointed a knife at me. What? Sir, I assure you I was as flustered as you are right now. So I whoop, whooped him and leapt at him. Detective Goodman pointed a knife at him. Oh, he was... He was grabbing the knife from the evidence room, and whatever he said, the game just auto-passed it. Do unto others before you they do unto you. My own father's words, sir. What happened then? 
Well, my eyes, sir. Everything went white. When I woke, I was here. Right. So, love for some Meekins. Uh, why is it that they arrested you? What do you mean, Emma? Let's look at what, it, what we know. Now, Officer Meekins didn't know Detective Goodman. And the victim whom he met at the scene of the crime didn't show his ID card. In other words, we have no way of knowing if the victim was really the victim. And if this body just disappeared from the evidence room, we don't even know if anyone actually died. That's it, sir! That, that's what I wanted to say! That is... I did say something along those lines. Huh? He still ended up here? They told me that I had been... It had to be him, sir. On that day, at that time. Detective Goodman was definitely in the evidence room. That's what they said. But you don't remember the events clearly? No! But the videotape is quite clear. Huh? Videotape? From the security camera. The crime. My crime! The crime I swore to step out. It's there. It's me. It's on tape. I'm so confused. And you waited until now to tell us this? I'm sorry, really sorry, sir. I'll hand over my badge. I don't deserve it. No, no thanks. I have my own. Well, I guess we need to go check out the crime scene. Oh my god. Oh. Meekins is literally a useless human. Absolutely. He shouldn't he shouldn't even be in a position of authority or power. Like even the lowest ranking officer should not be there. I'd behave like that if my head was shaped like that. <laughs> he needs like a sultry voice. I don't know what you're doing. His voice seems to be spot on though. I, I can't do a sultry voice, Lonnie. I don't have that kind of voice. Uh, here. Hey. Gumshoe? Please be Gumshoe. Hey, Mr. Ray. Look who's standing at the chief detective's desk. It's the chief detective. It's police chief Gan. Oh, okay. Has anyone seen Fairy Tale? I said this at the beginning of the stream. This guy looks like Wolverine, and this, the person from Fairy Tale had a baby. And I don't know why. Maybe it's just because of the pink glasses. I don't know. Oh, she needs a sultry voice. Oh, <laughs> I thought you said oh, we we're talking about Meekins. Nah, her older sister has the sultry voice. And you'll show this all. Mm. You know what that means. Is there anything? If there is anything missing. Sir, I'm sure it's almost likely totally perfect. We checked all of his drawers under the seat cushion behind his computer monitor inside his personal coffee machine. I see. Well, if anything does come up, you call me right away, deal. Yes, sir. I figured out the police chief's voice. Yes, sir. Let's scour the place again, sir. There it is. The chief of detectives looks a little flustered. Ah, oh, right, oh my boy. How you been? Swim much? Swim. Oh, chief Gant, reporting for duty, sir. Why are you saluting him, Mr. Wright? Hello, chief. <laughs> this is Gant. <laughs> <laughs> No, Lonnie, this guy is... Okay, you thought karma was bad. This guy has all the red flags. And I know when you're horny, red flags just looks like six flags. This guy gives bad vibes. Um, is Edward's gonna be okay? Oh, where are they? Uh, you know, you're doing a little inquiry meeting with him. Sounds like an inquisition. Yep, well, they have no end. They've had no end of trouble with the boys since last year. You mean the incident on Gord Lake? Haha, <laughs> it doesn't look good having a top prosecutor sit in the defendant's seat, does it? And you, you've got someone else found guilty in the case, right? Wait, right, oh. That motherfucker. Von Karma. Speaking of karma, look, dude. What is wrong with him? The legend he was undefeated in his 40 year career. In court, you fix it for. So he was caught for forging evidence. Wait, I didn't fix nothing. I didn't do anything wrong. He did forge evidence. 
<laughs> in any case, the prosecutor's office is in a bit of turmoil, you might say. Why, they do just about anything to restore their reputation. Now, depending on what that inquiry committee decides, it could be bad for worthy. What? Hmm. It's drowning! Or, er, drowning. It's downright odd, I tell you. The detective's getting killed on their turf, too, I mean. They're being the prosecutors, I assume? Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. Yes, but that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two locations at the same time. That's what it says. What evidence is this? <laughs> now, now, Raito, I can't give away all our secrets just like that. And this in particular? Well, it's a little sensitive. And I can't talk about it. I wasn't expecting much anyway. You know, one thing I hate most of all is hiding stuff. Secrets! Can't stand them. But you know, it's a full-time job just keeping the chief of detectives trap shut. And he was the one you were picking on earlier? Huh? You saw that? Whoops. I wonder what it was that he wanted the chief of detectives to do. Hide evidence? Let's see if we can... If we kind of... Let's see if we can kind of discreetly ask him. Okay. You need to go away. How do I get... There it is. Fuck. Probably have to show him shit. In a later game, Emma will be in her 20s and have a very significant role. That's cool. Is she still here? Is Edward back? Fuck! Alright, I guess we gotta... Uh, wait, hold on a minute. I don't think he's going to care about any of that. Is this the knife you saw? I was the Meekins. This is for you. Yeah, I'm scared of knives, sir. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. I just wanted you to look at it. That's it, sir. The last night, sir. That's the one. I was an apple, sir, in my dream, sir. And I was being peeled. Second thought, you don't have to look at the knife. Mm. He's overacting in the knife, but I guess he's been through a lot. Really? That was it? Boo! This is for you. <laughs> yep, okay. Uh, how's about... What do you think of this thing? Can you take a look at this? I'm sorry, sir. I'm really sorry, but I have no idea what that is. Maybe you should ask Mr. Edwards, sir. Is he back? He's passing the buck, Mr. Wright. It takes a special kind of man to pass the buck to Edgeworth. Okay, so maybe Edgeworth is back. I mean, that would be ideal, right? You got anything? Ah. Dude! It's gotta be the... It's gotta be Gant. There's nothing else. There's nobody else. In later game, it'll, uh, you might need to examine stuff. Again? Because I just went through all, all the things and examined everything. Go to the guard station, look around. I did, I examined all that, unless something changed because of talking with what's-his-name. Yeah, nothing's changed. It's 
It's gotta be something with him. Oops. I was wondering, can you take a look at this? Ah, sorry, right? Who? I'm through with that stuff. Through, I say. Go find the guy who can't seem to be sit still out there. The busy one. The guy who can't sit still? Does that mean Detective Gumshoe? Either him or the Dancing Blue Badger. I thought he was going to talk about Megan's. Okay. Um... Okay. Maybe Gumshoe's back now? Uh It's painful. It's literally guess until you find the right one to show people. Uh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. What do you think of that creepy thing? Doesn't care. Oops. I don't think he's gonna care about anything. He just says the same thing every time. Okay, let's go uh, talk to Meek and see if... You care that they were looking up uh, this incident? Let's check this one first. Do you have a look at this? Oh, doesn't know what it is. Oops. Balls! chapter is f like i love this chapter with the story but the fucking need to find the exact ex one hidden exact thing that makes no sense to progress anything is extremely frustrating you got anything else to say no i already showed you everything i didn't get anything yeah i didn't get anything new You're still not here. Oh my god. Please tell me you have an idea. Nope. Bleh. Is there anything to examine the police department? There better not be, because I just got done doing that. This guy writing his novel. <laughs> Something about his cassette, cassette tape. What a crafty trick. The gunshot was a fake. This is no good. No one will expect cassette tape in the day of this day and age. He's not writing a report. He's writing a novel. Okay, he has different... Uh, whatever he's writing every time. That's kind of funny. Oh, that's back to new. Oh. Oh. Ah, I just did this. Did a bunch of stuff. Talk to Gant, and now I can talk to him again. Ah, uh, sorry, you had to see that. Uh, what exactly did the chief police want you to do? Well, oops, well, see over there. That's Goodman's desk. They wanted me to check it for anything that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in that trash can. So nothing belonging to Detective Goodman is still here? Of course not. Well, except for this. What is that? What? You kept something? Sure, why not? It's not important. He didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report, but it's only half complete. Oh? This can be the knife. Lost item? Did Detective Goodman lose something? The date on it is February 21. Better make a note of that, just in case. Or better make a note of that, just in case. Goodman's lost item report. Uh, a half-written document dated 221 can only be submitted to the chief police. 
Okay, that's that's gotta be the knife. I should really get back to the investigating the police department crime scene. Okay, see, at least that time it told me where I should probably be going. You got anything? Oh. Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Ah, uh, I never thought the day would come when Ryder would ask me for help. I was wondering if we could investigate the evidence room. Creepy face. I hate that. That's so creepy. Now, right -o. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. I don't need to investigate after all. I don't please. Do I look like a selfish man? Huh? Heck, if anyone asks me, sir, can I borrow $50? I give them $50. No problem. Can I borrow $50? So go ahead. Investigate your, that room to your heart's content. Knock yourself out. It just goes to show you never know until you ask. And for you here, you can borrow this. Is that yours? Hey, this is a detective's ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. Yes, sir. It's an honor. You're just running along, running along and do your best now. Later, folks. Gant terrifies me. He's too cooperative and kind. I think he's just scary. Like, I, I actually kind of, I understand what you're saying. Because, like, it's like, what are you after? What? You're suspicious. Isn't that sad? That if someone is just too kind or too cooperative, they're suspicious. That's how fucked up our world is. <laughs> it looks pretty cool on the on my lapel, doesn't it? Just think, a real ID. Oh, she actually has it on her lapel. That's cute. You seem happy. Yes, sir. Because, sir, we need to get in the evidence room now, sir. I think this place is a bad influence on the girl. All right. Evidence. He's going to be here now, isn't he? He is not. Let me in. The evidence room is beyond that door. And we have the ID card from Chief Kent. Let's just walk in. It won't open. Aha! The card reader just turned off, see? What is that security guard thinking? He thought, it's secure if I just turn everything off and set my own garbage traps and not talk to any- or and just leave. Howdy, partners. Well, well, what's my- what's made my bambini sky so gray? How many ponchos do you keep? You're wearing one, there's two on your thing. Officer Marshall, why does it have to be him? How did we not know it was him, Phoenix? What's that? Why does it have to be him, look for? What's that? Why does it have to be him, look for? As you may have surmised, this here's my saloon. This is a fucking guard station. Um, um, we're here to investigate the crime scene. Yeehaw, that card you got there on, you, there on your chest. That's better than a sheriff's badge in these parts. Well, what do you stand there for? Get along, little doggies. The crime scene's awaiting. Looks like the card reader's on again. While we're here, I was wondering if uh, you can answer some of our questions. Sorry, cowboy. But I got no mind to tangle with your hombres. You're busy then? Did I say that? I only said I didn't wish to speak with you. Actually, you said you had no mind to tangle with his hombres. He's not going to talk to us because, uh, he's hangry. Have a steak. That smell. Ah, reminds me of Texas. Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? You, no, he's from L.A. See? No, I just saw a special on television the other day. Is this from my baby? Uh, television the other, you became... Your entire personality became Texas in like three days? Bruh. Marshall must have suffered some sort of traumatic brain injury. That's the only explanation of being himself. Y yeah, like... Three, like three, he said other day. And now he's this. Uh, yeah, Miss Star. What was it? What's wrong? Place take lunch. See, I see. I don't see. I wonder what it means. All right, gave him his steak lunch. All right, Bambina, you win. Ask me anything. 
I'm... Finally, seems like. He's willing to talk. See, that would have been a much better outcome to be like, oh, he won't talk to us. And then get the steak, not get the steak first. Why did it open that up? Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? You got good eyes, partner. It's an easy job, and I'm grateful for it. Actually, Officer Meekins is at the detention center told us. Ah, oh, that poor little doggy. Poor guy. I keep getting his name wrong and calling him Meekly. He told us something. He said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. I don't think he's ever at his station. Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. But since I got demoted from detective two years ago. Well, it might not look like it, but I lost my fire for the job, you know? So, what were you doing around 5.15 when the murder took place? Well, I reckon I was galloping down the highway in the back of my steed, Zippy. Please let that be like a moped. No, he was riding down the highway on his horse named Zippy. There's no need for people here anyhow. These newfangled machines do a bang-up job keeping an eye on the place. I mean the security camera system? I don't take the machines much. Kinda like that stew broccoli, they they sneak in next to your steak, you know? That stewed broccoli. Broccoli is great. Broccoli is great with steak, what are you talking about? Miss Star told us something. She said that you were a detective until two years ago. It was always my dream to be a raw hot, a raw dog. The raw hot wrangler on the scene of a crime. That's all gone now. Like a drinking hole in a prairie fire. You're still investigating this L9 incident with Miss Star, aren't you? That was my case. It's all solved on the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. I can't let it go. That's all there is to it. What kind of case was it anyway? We've heard the name so many times, but no one tells us what exactly happened. There are some things you're better off not knowing, Bambi. Huh? Anyway, that case is officially dead as of two days ago. Two days ago? The day of our class? I didn't say danger zone. That's right, the evidence transferals. Edward was talking about the transferals too. I know what maybe two of the machines in here do. Well, only two of them. There must be a dozen. Like I said, Bambino, the machines will. I like them about as much as I like stewed cauliflower with my steaks. Is is stewed broccoli and cauliflower a thing? I know I know steamed is. These ones understand that these here security cameras. Those are the ones that Officer Meekins mentioned. If nothing happens, the tapes are automatically erased every few hours. And Officer Meekins and Detective Goodman, are they on one of those tapes? I reckon they might be. They're the security guard, you reckon? One more thing. When you go into the evidence room, you need an ID card. I got one. That's the card reader by the door. The card reader leaves a record of every ID card that passes through. Seven, 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 four, twenty, blaze it! So this is the ID card record. Hey, I've seen that somewhere before. Sorry, Bambino. I can't show you more than that. Huh? I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. That's right. I saw a number on that record just now. I've seen that number before. Maybe there's a way I can prove that record is tied to the stabbings. I didn't see the record. I was, I was too busy making weed jokes. Sorry, but could you explain what the whole transferal thing is about? We keep only evidence from solved cases in this room. I kept here under this presiding detective supervision for two years. And we can reinvestigate them if it turns out there was a mistake, you see? So what happens to the evidence after two years? It goes to sleep forever in the underground vault of the county sheriff's department. That's what we call, oh, that's what we call transfer. Viewed every February. I see now. Transferal was like a funeral for old cases. Two years ago, 
few years after Casey's home, it's closed. Forever. Dead. Never to be re reopened again. Never to be reinvestigated. And that happened to the SL9 two days ago. Okay. Can I show him... ID card. Ah, the one that was on the ground in the parking lot? The number on this is 5842189. Officer Marshall, show us that ID card record again. Hey, 514. That changes the time of death. Because the other guy, the guy in the parking lot was killed at four, or stabbed at four, and then he died. Maybe I'm misreading that thing. I thought it said that, like he was stabbed at four and he was killed like, or he died like an hour and a half later. Look at the fourth number, it's a perfect match. It was used at 514, right before the stabbing. Once more, there's only one of them cons in the world. When the incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. But wait, what did Officer Meekin say? Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to display his ID card. So he asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card? What did he do? That's the thing, suddenly he pointed a knife at me. If he had his ID card then, why would he have pointed a knife at Officer Meekins? I'll rack and I'll dray you in. I guess I can give you this ID card record. Hell yeah, dude. I've got an idea. Maybe I should show this list of other people with IDs here. Oh, should I? Okay, but I want to go... Yeah. I want to go in here. Does this case feel like some sort of conspiracy? Yeah, like seven people involved. It's Star, all her boyfriends, that guy, Goodman, and Gant. I think they're all involved. It's quiet. The investigation must be over here. Oh, well, this is the evidence room. Really, it's kind of a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. <laughs> nice try, Mr. Ray. You can't scare me. <laughs> hey! It's our boy! Oh, God. What just happened? Also, did you guys hear that? That was my fucking controller vibrating like crazy. Did she just knock him out? <laughs> S sorry, I thought you were a ghost. I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts in the head, pal. Did she hit him? I missed the animation. So it is true. So is it true what I heard? There it is. Righto, please. Righto, please. Do I look like a selfish man? I can feed one ask me, sir. But can I borrow fifty dollars? Give him fifty dollars, no problem. Is that what he's asking? If you give fifty dollars or fifty dollars. So go ahead and investigate that room to your heart's desire, knock yourself out. Yeah, it's true. So chief, so chief of police, man, man, we'll only need one fifty bucks. Yeah, see, his head's in the right place. Even me. Oh, uh, so that's what you were talking about. Actually, I was just put in charge of the investigation for today. Just for today? Is it because they know you're incompetent? Boss for a day. Guess what? You got permission from the chief. So now you're, bo you're boss for a day. What do you think? First of all, you want to have this. Seen the stabbing of a detective at the PD. Okay. I want to look at that. Also, I should probably check this. Bruce Goodman. Five. That's a nine. That's not an eight. That's interesting. That put his name there. Oh, that's why it wants us to uh, get people's names because it fills it out. That's nice. Wow, that's unhelpful. Detective Gumshoe, you're the boss for the day? That's right! It's an honor. After all, the murder took place right here in the police department. What if you're the... What if you're boss? Are you all alone? Where are your underlings? 
They're using yesterday's findings to prepare for tomorrow's trial. In other words, you got kicked out of the investigation again. I'm adamant, though. I'm going to take control and put this case to rest. In my own evidence locker, pal. You have a locker in here, too, Detective Gumshoe? Aha! Of course. I'm a detective, after all. They gave me a locker that I, only I can open, pal. Only you can open. Interesting. This place is more high-tech than you might think. Card readers? Fingerprints? Every locker is fixed so that only one detective can open it. Using their ID... Or, yeah, using their ID card, so that was... Yeah. It wasn't Goodman. Ooh! Using their ID card? Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Why am I on my third card? Why am I on my third card since entering the force already? That sounds like a lot. Yeah, but even I can't lose my own right hand. Right hand? Oh! You mean your fingerprint? Exactly, pal. The lock with each locker is coated with a fingerprint. Ah, those noises hurt so bad. This locker we can open is on our own. So the only locker we can open is our own. Funny. They look like normal lockers. These are the latest model. There's a trick to the handles, see? Handles? On the other hand, on the other side of the handles is the sensor. And if the wrong person touches it... Zap! You get a shot. It won't open. If that's what happened, my hand would be black and smoking every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There are even some people on the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. Evidence locker added. Only the assigned detective's prints can unlock it, indicated the lamp. Lights up when it's open. Okay. I'll always believe in Mr. Edgeworth, no matter what happens. So, Mr. Edgeworth is... With the inquiry committee right now? I'm trying to figure out who's responsible for their mess up in court today. I see. I guess that's what you call fate. Mr. Edwards just can't get away from that case. That case? Yeah, that case. The SL9 incident, of course. That was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edwards. Mr. Edwards. There it is. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case. Yeah, he spills the beans all the time. Oh, shit. Uh... Actually, wait, let's... Let's check these out. That's a, a door. Ah, look at this big pile of junk in the corner. That looks like a car door. There's a pair of handcuffs attached to the frame. Maybe the guy they caught was some sort of escape artist and he got away. <laughs> hey, that's one of those human profiles for range testing, testing. He's been shot square in the forehead. Better him than us. Something sticking out of here. Looks like a shirt. I guess it must be evidence for some case. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe put this here. There you go, pal. Making me out to be some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That's head. I bet that evidence locker was opened recently. Oh, interesting. How do you know? If you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard checks on that kind of stuff and notifies the detectives responsible. How many times have I had him breathing down my neck about some silly evidence? Sounds like Detective Gumshoe leaves evidence hanging out a lot, too. I bet he doesn't tuck in his shirt under the trench coat, either. <laughs> if you're going to talk behind, behind someone's back, don't do it right in front of them, pal! Oh, don't say that to Gumshoe. I love him. This place is stuffed with evidence. Stuffed with dreams. Dreams? I'm not sure about the dreams. Hmm. It won't open. Not your fingerprint. Did you really think it would? Hey, pal, our security is high tech around here. Is it every one of these? Thank God. Got a fishing rod. Is that the fishing rod from fucking. That one case that we had? Some sort of bulky equipment is gathering dust here. What a sorry looking fishing pole that is. Ah, my personal pole! Never did get- Oops, I never did get around to using it. Wait, I've seen that somewhere before. All right, pal, that's a meta detector. One that led you to solving the case of the Gold Lake, remember? All right. Oh, that feels like it was ages ago. And... Uh, I don't think I've seen that one before. Oh, that! That's a bug sweeper. I'm sure it will come in handy in solving some ca case sooner or later. 
That cheap looking. Or that cheap. Uh, that cheap looking box. You can't judge a person or a machine by a cover. You gotta look at their heart. Machine heart? Got some paint cans. What the fuck? That's. That's definitely gonna be. We gotta stab or something. Ooh, what's this? Blood? It's a little worn, but there's definitely a handprint here. Looks like someone tried to wipe it off. It's alright. What if there, what if there are other blood stains left in the room? We should use our testing fluid to check it out. Yeah, we'll do that in a minute. There's an open one. Look! Look! This one's open! And the red indicator light above the door is lit. A locker is coated with Detective Goodman's fingerprint. Detective Goodman's locker. Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we closed it. It's empty. We must have taken the contents elsewhere. Sussy. Sus. Well, someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces. Detective Gumshoe, perhaps? <laughs> There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of hooligan. That's apparently from the case. The case? Yes, till nine incident, pal. Need to check on one of the pieces there. Another piece of the SL9 evidence. Take a closer look. I wonder what shape these pieces were in before whatever it was broke. You wanna try to put them back together? Whoop. You wanna try to put them back together? Ah, good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Just like four pieces. I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. That's why I always carry around a tube of glue. You're almost as bad as the lunch lady. You have like a Mary Poppins bag. Well, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. I was going to say it looks like a... Whoa. Oh, okay. It's a vase. Can I rotate? Oh. No, I don't want to rotate this. I want to rotate... I want to rotate that thing. What is that? Combine. Rotate. Combine. Oh. What are those? I want it. Mm. I want to rotate the base. Okay, I need a little spiky bit. Maybe this one? No, it's goofy. Heck, it's like it rotates it in a really weird way. Tink. Oh, it's controlled. I get it. No, I don't think it's going to use that. Nope. Pretty sure it's not that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that one makes sense. What the heck is this thing? Rotate. There we go. Oh, 
we're missing a piece. Okay. Huh? Well, I think we did it. But some of the pieces are missing. Yeah, I got that far too in two minutes myself. The problem is finishing it. I'm sure you did. Are some pieces stolen? But they were missing to begin with. Still, doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. Yeah, that's weird. What the heck kind of jar is that? I can't understand how it got broken. Unstable jar added to the court record. Jar pieced back together from fragments found at the crime scene. A piece is missing. Okay. Their gloves? They're... Whoa! Hey! Oh, that's a... That's opening like seven questions right there. Someone left a glove here, but only one. Detective Gumshoe, maybe? There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of absent minded detective. That's evidence from the case, you know? You mean NSL9? It does have a tag on it. Tagged evidence from the NSL9 incident extremely thin rubber glove. Holy crap, we're getting a bajillion pieces of equipment or stuff here. If you put these pieces together, it makes a jar. There are two things that bother me. One, why are some of the pieces missing? Two, doesn't it seem like a, seem a little unstable? I wonder if it broke. I'll make sure to remember that next time I make a jar. <laughs> Got some paint. What is the saw and paint doing here? Since the dawn of time, true art has always been a war against oppression. True art? What the fuck? What's he going on about? Too hard. I noticed that there's blue and yellow paint here. Oh, amazing. Crap is witnessing the birthplace of the blue badger. Well, you might say this is my studio. <laughs> and you really got nothing else to do, huh? Yeah, in the evidence room. Or here, in the evidence room? Gumshoe, I fucking love you, dude. I would love to be his friend. Like, he might cause some headache, but I, I think he's precious. Uh, okay, let's present... Uh, let's see if he'll fill this out. You take a look at this? He's an ID card record of people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. Ah, I heard the rumors. So, it was good when you came in here at the time of the murder. Whoa! That second serial number. It's not your ID number, is it, Detective Gumshoe? Mr. Edgeworth. You you can't remember your own number, but you can remember Edgeworth's. Come on, man. What? What? The second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. What? ID card record updated. Okay. Why would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? Okay. Uh. Okay. 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 This part was crazy. It leaves me so many more questions than. Absolutely. Yeah. Way more questions than answers. Uh. Is there anything I can. There's so much fucking evidence in this one. What if I show him... Detective Goodman's note in that switchblade knife. I bet Edwards was the most surprised of anyone because of the SL9 connection. That was Mr. Mr. Edwards' first big case, you know, two years ago. That was the first time the word new Edwards was the man to be feared. But why would evidence from that case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case. Okay. This is my crowning achievement, my masterpiece, you might say. But art is always misunderstood, pal. Art. He was dancing proudly on the day of the awards ceremony, but there were a lot of people coming and going after the ceremony. So they took the blue badger away for a while. Really? Why? Ah, oh, they said it was shameful or something like that. 
Shameful! I toiled night and day. I sympathize with Detective Gumshoe, but I can see why they moved it. <laughs> That's sad. Hey, I'm a lawyer. Detective, here's my attorney's badge. You do that to me every time we meet, pal. <laughs> yeah, we already did this on this one. You have a badge, Emma. I wish I had a badge. Even an ID card would be nice. You have one. Literally, it's on your lapel. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's do this. Uh, how do I use that? Bloods. I must have been one massive pile of blood. That's the big pile of, or pool of blood we're looking for. Never seen anything like it. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, detective? Hmm. Pale blue blood. An alien. Maybe Detective Goodman. It was actually. It was actually an alien. This proves that something really happened in front of this locker. I'll make a note of it on the floor plans. Hey! Whoops. Hey! If you didn't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked. We didn't ask for a dumbass opinion. I love you, Gumshoe, but... Come on, my dude. Yeah. Kind of sure there's no more. I'll do it just in case. Get out the way! You can do it quick. All right, we're good. Now that was a bloody violent case. Violent. So it was a murder? A serial killing. A serial killing? Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake, and Mr. Edwards built his case around that to nab him. And this was two years ago? I put Mr. Edwards right in the spotlight and, and started the rumor mill. Rumors? About forged evidence? It was supposed to be all cleaned up for the transfer the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Huh? What do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9, isn't it, you see? So, so, that switchblade knife. The victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself? Uh huh. What if I show him... Allow me to say one thing, speaking as a detective. If I see a piece of evidence I know nothing about, I say nothing! NOTHING! That's fine. You bet it's fine, pal! Can only be submitted to the chief of police. Fuck! Was I supposed to show this to the chief of police? No, he gave that to me. Right? Will he change? Okay. I thought he would fill it out himself. I missed a spot of blood? Oops. Oops. Yeah, blood, okay. Uh, back. Examine. Slide. Court record. Spray. on the other scene on a locker. Okay. I, I thought I sprayed all these. Oh my god. 
I just missed that one. Nice, thank you. Why am I getting your action here? There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if you fled out the door. This might be something significant. Hey! That's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. What's this? What? What? This? It's called luminal testing fluid. Where'd you get your hands on that? Huh? I'd like to get some too. You're a fucking detective. You should have some. I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief. Where do you get this? Or where do you get this, Emma? I was buying it by mail order. Well, I'd better jot this down on the floor plans. Interesting. Thank you, Kira. Is there any more? Yeah, I absolutely. That would have. I would have been stuck. Can I talk to you. Okay, I'm guessing. Guessing we're done here. Can I talk to you. I'm gonna. shit here. Show it to him. Offers minikins, could you take a look at this? Damn it. What about... Fuck. Really, dude? I think he's gonna be very helpful. Um, maybe Edgeworth is back. Oh my god, he's still not here. Oops. Oh god. Welcome back, Lonnie. Edgy be edging. Yeah, he's playing hard to get. Just never showing up. Oh, damn it. Oh, I probably should check this out, huh? Oops. Tank says SL911. I guess this is another piece of evidence from that case. You know, I never did care for the word tag. It's confusing. Huh? What's so confusing about that? You know how many other words sound like that? Bag, gag, nag, lag, shag. Jag. Jag, is that a word? You challenge me? What are we playing? A word game now? We should probably look at all the all the stuff we just picked up, huh? Anything on the bottom? There's a hole in the bottom. Huh? This thing doesn't have a bottom. That's weird. I wonder which side is up. Better yet. What's the purpose of a bottomless jar? At least it doesn't collect dust inside, right? I'm pretty sure dust would still collect, Emma. Hey, look! It's hard to make out, but there are some dark red stains in here. Hmm. Looks like blood. You think Detective Goodman's blood somehow got on this when he was stabbed? Not likely. This blood looks like it's been here for months, maybe longer. Sure was evidence in SL9 incident. That might be when the blood got on it. Mm hmm. Anything else? Watch, that's not gonna end up being a jar at all. <laughs> Nothing at all there. Okay. Okay, that shows the blood marks. That's the times. And that one we checked out. Okay. Do you have anything? You have nothing. Uh... There's gotta be something I'm supposed to present to someone, right? 
Maybe you care about this? She wouldn't. We need to find Marshall. The sheriff's back in the Wild West didn't place much faith in evidence. About the only thing they trust was their shooting hand. Um, this is neither wild nor west here. Hmm, <clears throat> but that and this are two different things entirely. I guess so. Huh? I'm lost. That's how I feel a lot of times when you're just speaking, Emma. Looks like we need some evidence to get anywhere with this guy. Fuck. Uh, okay. Evidence for of what? Son of a bitch. Why isn't this evidence enough? It was before. Is there a way I can just auto skip that? If I've already seen it. Talk to Gumshoe again. He has something to say now. Okay. Go talk to Gummy Boy. Nope. Unless I need to present something to him. Lock system. After all, Detective Goodman is stabbed here after opening his locker. Oh shit, this is interesting. We're going to redo this. At the same time, he was found dead at the prosecutor's office. Okay, what just happened there? You can't open the lockers in your, if your fingerprint doesn't match. If you can open it, it'll give you 50 cents. <laughs> if you can open it, they'll give you 50 cents. That's funny. Uh-huh. You got something else to say now? Nope. Uh, I think you need to examine or spray the locker with the obvious handprint. I did that already, um, but it doesn't give me the zoom in thing to um, it doesn't automatically do it. Thing. Does that make sense? Hold on. So we spray and it gets all highlighted it, i've done that twice now and it didn't do that last time that's annoying i knew it this is someone's right hand print what what's the matter or what's the matter detective this locker it's mine it's yours please you have to help me when they come to take me away I promise you'll testify that i couldn't harm a fly do it for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. I'll drop it. I'll jot it down on the floor plan. I'm counting on you guys. Believe me, you can't trust the police. <laughs> but but you're a detective. Hey, pal, look at the time. Is there something you need to be going? It's just that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry and committee should be letting out soon. Oh, that's how. We, what the heck is that? Restaurant. I thought that said PetSmart for some reason. I'm gonna go give them my report for the day. It might help you, you know. Report? You mean the note written on the back of that flyer? One that says nothing but no problems. Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth they're talking about. I'm sure he can use a report like this. I believe in him. He needs enemies when you've got friends like Detective Gumshoe. I'm off, pal. Later. Just gonna let me hang out here. 
I should probably see what Edgeworth has to say too. Oh, let's fucking go talk to Edge Boy. Finally, you go away. Oh, finally. You? What are you doing here? Oh, uh, yes, my apologies. Oh, it's you. Oh, you acting like you don't know me now. Have we met someone? Huh? It's Redworth. I beg your leave. So long. Is Edward? Oops. Is Edward here? Hey, standing by the window. A teacup in his hand. Uh. There's no teacup. Right. Is the hotel bring him tea service? <laughs> He's got his own tea set. I'm confused. Mr. Idris. You're back from the district prosecutor's officer inquiry. Officer inquiry. I can, I can words. I am. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Oh, yes. He brought me the latest information. It seems. Really? Is it helpful? Apparently, a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me. Uh, console, <laughs> console me somehow. Um, the real info was on the other side, Edgeworth. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think his whole thing is really taking a toll on him. Oh, we can talk to him finally. So how, how did the inquiry committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this not as a case of concealing evidence. But as a communications error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes, apparently there are some who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time. Again. Again? I've heard them say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still the presiding prosecuting attorney. However, something happened. Something happened? They gave control of the investigation over to the police department. Interesting. The police. I have some the police are in on it. Police department. Yes. Any further investigation for this case will be directed by the chief of police Gant. See? Told you he's in on it. I can I can do nothing but wait for his results. I see. Why, I ask you. Why? All along I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still. Wow, I've never seen him this out of sorts. Okay. Uh, present you a shitload of stuff I found. Do you care about this? Right, please. I'm the prosecutor on this case. You don't expect me to sit here and discuss the case with you over a cup of tea. Why not? That sounds great. I'll pass on the tea. Just tell me about the case. Mr. Wright, Mr. Edwards just told you no in a very polite manner. Whose side are you on, anyway? Maybe if I just show him my best evidence, I can get some reaction out of him. Uh... I have like 12 pieces of evidence here. Hey, you wanna see this? Your name is on this sheet. All right, I better check this now. As I was saying, I... What's this? What's this? A bracket of ID card usage? Edward, you went into the evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. Why, Mr. Edgeworth? Please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go. But Chief Grant, again, no less. Aha! Uh -huh. Yep, see, they were setting you up. The Chief of Police. Oh? He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. He told me he wanted to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. Interesting. But it was solved, right? It would have to be if the evidence was already filed. The chief is never one to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. It really has nothing to do with the current case. Everyone keeps saying that, but you're all blind. You're all blind. Now I'm curious about the other case. I'd better make a note of it. 
Unrelated evidence. Screwdriver added to the court record. Evidence in past case of Edwards brought back to his office by Gans' request. Someone as always. I told you this has nothing to do with the current case. Lies, sir. Okay. Uh. I don't know which one he actually wants to see. Actually, let's look at this. The tag says AI 16. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing, apparently. At least that's what Edward said. Hmm. That makes it seem all the more suspicious. Who knows, this might turn out to be the clue that breaks the case. Wouldn't that be nice? Nothing. Oh, yeah, nothing else. Okay. What's up, Johnson? How you doing, my dude? I think he might be actually I think he actually might actually have meant it when he said he's a fan. Oh, I missed something. You know when you save Max Powers, Edgy told him that he's a big fan. We've seen evidence that Edgy knows the Steel Samurai theme song before he has a Steel Samurai statue in his office. Yeah, he might be a fan. Just might be. Got nothing. Okay. Uh what? It's acting like I, I have some new form of evidence that he should care about. But I don't. Maybe, maybe. Balls. Maybe if I just show my best evidence, I can even... I... What? I showed him all the evidence. Everything else he knows about. We're just going to go down the line. And when we showed him, this and I showed him. That, uh, he, uh, uh, what new evidence? I showed him everything. All right, he doesn't want to talk to me. Something SL9... I showed... He knows about everything! And I already showed him, um... These two are new SL9 stuff. He knows about all these other ones. Yeah, see? What the fuck? You know about the fucking knife! I hate that. Alright, hold on. He knows about the knife! I hate that. I know you. You probably get a hold of some information already, right? It all has to do with that case you were on. The SL9 incident. Why wouldn't the other SL9 incidents trigger it? In some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. You're the man who revived the worst memory of my life. I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. He must be talking about his father murder in that elevator. Okay, Edgeworth. Why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. Oh, wait. That means he's going to talk to me. There we go. The SL9 incident was the highest, a heinous serial killing case. The head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time. Gant. Yep. Damon Gant. That wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago, then? Yeah, he, everything's pointing to that man. He was a top officer, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Are you nervous too, Mr. Edwards? What I want to know is why was the deputy chief of police on the investigation? 
In truth, I used slightly more extreme methods than normal. But it's annoying because he was he already knew about the knife. So why did I have to present it again? To trigger that stuff. Especially if none of the other S online stuff triggered anything. We were dealing with a vicious murder. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't? Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. Yes, I will do anything in my power to win a trial. However, I do have a code and I follow it faithfully. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. My sister? What? If you were still studying forensic science. Who? Huh? Yes, of course. I just today, Mr. Wright, and I were using this. Luminal testing fluid. Hmm? Well then, he might have use for this. Fingerprint? Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints! It's been chemically, chemically treated for better adhesion. Or me? Are you sure? You're the enemy, you know. I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. Edgeworth, I'm really... He's, give him giving that to us is borderline a marriage proposal for someone like him. No need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. Uh, thanks. How about giving these to Detective Gumshoe as well? Fingerprint sent and fingerprint file recorded. It covers fingerprints from handprints for comparison with fingerprint file. Go back to the evidence room. Well, let's get going. But one last investigation. Right. I do seem to remember seeing a suspicious handprint somewhere. All right, let's get out of here. Later, Tater. No one bother me. Our investigation has turned up a suspicious handprint. Like two of them. Here, in this bloody... And there's blood on the detective in the locker. Let's use the secret weapon we just borrowed. Alright, secret weapon. Oh, I don't get to do the... Oh, there it is. There's the music. Right, let's get started. First, choose a finger. Pull it. I got you right. A finger? Each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. So let's choose a finger that we'll have, a... that we'll have left behind the clearest print. I really can't tell the difference at a glance. Uh, thump the middle finger, or the, uh, the pointy finger. Quit procrastinating, choose a finger. This one! Okay! Now it's time to check for prints. Let me show you how it's done. I'm starting to get the sparkle in her eyes. First, we sprinkle the aluminum powder around. Huh? How do you do that? Miss Enter. See? Ah, it looks like that did the trick. The aluminum powder adheres completely to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. The excess. Huh? How do I do that? With e. Exciting, I know. Imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake. The candles, right. Wow, that looks like fun. It might take some getting used to, though. Up your nose or anything. You just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. Those are the basics of fingerprint fingerprinting, Mr. Wright. I best I better give it a try. Uh, dust. It's worth. I think it worked. nothing okay maybe that must be it then I think I'd like to try one of the other fingerprints okay let's move on to the different finger really the thumb it's sideways Thank you. 
What? What the f The candles serve only a symbol for my life slowly burning out. But I do enjoy your cake. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Give me a fucking fingerprint. What am I doing wrong? I had to do it more? Come on. Ah, oh, you... Ah, oh, you did it. You found one. You're supposed to find the prince, not find a, a hole. But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. See? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? I think it means... We use too much powder. We're out of luck. Out of luck? The person who left this handprint must have worn gloves. Oh, th okay. That makes a little more sense. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. No, that glove down there. Hey, calm down. That's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But it doesn't seem a shame. Oh, we're at it. Why don't we look for another prince? Another prince? Ah, see, if I wouldn't have found it, that would have been an indicator. Looking at the locker door again closely. It seems like there are fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. I saw that. I saw that one. It looked like a shadow, though. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Hmm. Fingerprints outside the blood. Fingerprints? No, no thanks. That's what I was expecting. It's not complete. Something? <gasps> Come on, Emma. Speak up. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. How you doing? You're playing some dark wood. Oh, man. That game kicked my ass. How are you enjoying it, though? Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. How's your stream? Oh, there it goes. Yay, a prince. Oops. Yay, a prince so clear. It's dazzling. How you doing? Also, anyone coming in from the raid? If you need to get up. Take some meds, get some food, get some water, start getting ready for bed, whatever you need to do. Please do. I do appreciate you joining in the raid, but uh, self-care is important. So please go take care of yourself if you need to. But the real star of the show, this, this is Jada. I'll give her a cookie. Jada want a cookie? Ignore the mess. Ignore the mess back there. Jada cookie. Hey! Hey, you! Wake up! Hi, good morning! Want a cookie? They take it for the raid. Oh. There's a cookie for you. Say thank you for the raid. How far did you get? Yeah, it always wants a cookie. Yes. Is this? She's she's a good bean. This is Jay. Thank you for the cookie. Like night four. I asked that question like I know what I'm talking about. I just remember I kept running into like blockers that kept me from progressing and uh, it, it got to the point like i loved the art wait am i getting confused darko is the one with the, the picture of, like the screaming person it looks like trees coming out of them right darkwood oh wait is this the one hold on yeah 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 okay so i tried that one yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I just didn't get it. I was, I, oh, like, you can definitely tell there's, like, a lot of love put in into it, and I like the art, but my brain just did not brain for that game. <laughs> I'm too scared to move past the wolf, man. <laughs> I understand. I don't know if, um, 
I'm not sure I if I made it that far. Uh, this was a this was a while ago. Um but it it felt like it was very grindy and everything I tried to do was just like blocked by something. It was like, okay, well then I'm try this and then that's blocked. And if I try this, that's blocked. And it's like it was just bananas. But I liked the idea and the concept of it. Supplies are short? Yes. I think that was a lot of it. It was like, oh my god, I have no supplies to do anything. And I think there was a deer that wanted to kill me or something. I don't remember. It was a while ago. But you're having fun, though, yeah? Go away, bug. We're playing Ace Attorney. This is very different than Darkwood. I don't know if you're, you've played it, but... <laughs> if, if you're anything like me, if I'm playing a scary game, I try to go to someone playing a very happy game. Because I, I am not a scary game player. I'm a, I'm a screamer boy. I don't like scary games ran into the moose oh maybe that's what i ran into him okay okay yeah yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. scary games uh, screamtober is the worst time of the year for me my buddy just told me about some other scary game that recently came out i was like oh great well that might be one i have to play something i want to say pacific rim but that's a movie it's pacific something and it's about a car you want to test your scare tolerance oh do you have a low scare tolerance as well what kind of scary games do you play? Dazzling. Anyway, this print took a lot of effort to find. Let's match it up right away. So we're not done yet? This is, this is quite a process. Well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? I guess she's right. Look at the fingerprint data we got from Edgeworth. And point out the person you think left these prints. That was an interesting sound, huh? How am I supposed to know who it was? I can make a pretty good guess. The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are different places, right? That means the prints probably don't have anything to do with the case. But whose fingerprints would be most likely to find in the evidence locker? I need to sneeze, dude. Real bad. Laughs in high scare tolerance. Yeah, I, I hate scary games. I, mean, I went through a couple of indie games, then got suggested Dark Worlds, and went, I I got you. Okay, what uh, indie games did you play? There's some scary games I like. I, I like suspense. I like suspense more than scary. I watch horror movies as comedies. No, dude. Nope. Nope. Yeah, listen. Nightmare Before Christmas still scares me, dude. It creeps me the fuck out. Um, Coraline is an actual nightmare feel feel for me. I saw that movie once, and it scarred me. Do not like it. Every man dies, not every man truly lives. In that vein, life isn't measured in candles, but memories in people you affect. Good point, Yuri. Uh, oh, let's, uh, okay, he's got, like, a little swirly. Oh, it's changing over there. Hey! It's gumshoe. This is clever. It's Gumshoe. Uh -huh. Is that his locker? Yeah, he said that was his locker. That makes sense. Rotten Flesh was the best one from the batch. There were a few, both of, both new and older ones. Ichio was the match back. I understand that. Did you play... It was an Ichio game. It's on Steam now. I think it's like 99 cents. It's really good. Um, oh, crap. It's a submarine game. Kind of. Ah. You guys know what I'm talking about. The one where, where you're just like, uh, uh it's called Iron Lung. Uh, it's pretty short. It's like max two hours long. Really good. Um, and that's more of a suspense horror. Yeah. Oh, Harpy. You're my people. I, I guess. Yeah, you've played that one then. Amazing. I had so much fun with that one. Now they're making a movie, which made me really happy. Aha. Well, these prints belong to Detective Gumshoe. Makes sense since this is locker. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me this so what look. I guess that's probably because I was thinking, so what? Okay, we came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. 
You gotta roll to punches, Mr. Wright. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly, there was one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out. Yeah, dog. Have you played these? They're great. Uh, examine. Why isn't the handprint showing up? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I do it like this, or do I have to find it again first? Oh, wait. Wrong button. Oh, I can't use it yet. Okay, so I gotta find it again first. Okay, it's already there. Um... Please let me use this. stupid? Why won't it let me use it? Oh. Really? I have to examine that first? This we got a luminal fluid reaction, right? Right. There is a handprint here. Okay. Wanna try using this? Yes, please. I figured it would be like the spray bottle. There go her eyes sparkling again. Check for prints. Okay, let's check for friends. That's the spirit. Oh, I have to warn you about something first. We're gonna run out. What? Hey, with the blood was wiped away, right? We only ended up finding it using chemical means. Any prints in that area will have been wiped away too. Oh, right. So that means no prints. Would you say the probability of our pipe her of our hypothesis is high? Don't ask me. Anyway, we must try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. There we go. Lurk away, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. Dust. 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 You wouldn't let me dust. Like, it's zooming in. Dust, 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 dust. Is there something else around here? And I just don't see? Oh, uh, what? I saw nothing. Maybe that was the point. Oh, there's like nothing there. Hmm, I gave it my best shot. The kind of result won't be any good for matching prints, will it? It doesn't look like we'll get a clear result from this, this print. Okay, let's try a different finger then. Different finger? Oh, I was guessing the finger? What? Did I just choose the same one? spray bottle. Not good enough. Let's get some down here. Can you spray again to real reveal more? No, I sprayed that whole area. And then it auto-zoomed into me. Okay, it's got a little erection there. There it is. Marshall. This man. Hey, these fingerprints, they. What are they? Is this someone I know? It's Officer Marshall. Huh? Uh, Officer Jake Marshall. You can just say Marshall. I'm on the bloody handprint left in the evidence room. The 
Right, it hasn't been wiped. Marshall's fingerprints added to the court record. That's got to be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. I'm pretty sure he is. Emma. This is decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's prints. The luminal reaction. The blood and the fingerprints are in the same place. Oh. Oh! So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on a wiped blood stain. Yeah, dog. Why would Officer Marshall? It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. I guess this is what you'd call decisive evidence. I... I don't believe it. Oh, she has such faith in humanity. Should we continue? Oh, man. It's like 20 minutes before stream. End. Alright, let's see how far we can get. This is a really long chapter. So what do you think, Mr. Wright? I'm glad to be back in the courtroom. I think the prosecution is, is as confused as we are. After all, the victim was... Er, Lana. That's her sister, right? The victim was murdered in two different places at the same time. It is. And a different suspect was arrested at each of the crime scenes. Lana! Good morning, Mr. Wright. I apologize for yesterday. I was indisposed. I hope they didn't hold you too long for questioning. We just finished, actually. I'm used to all-nighters, though. So how'd it go? It says Mr. Rice suspects. The police are clueless. I figured as much, so I struck a plea bargain. A plea bargain? What do you mean by that? We agreed that if I told them the truth behind the simi simultaneous murder, they wouldn't see capital punishment. That's what I mean, Emma. Atlanta! Don't tell me you... Much to my regret, I'm as much in the dark about this as they are. Miss Sky. Mm hmm? We found trace evidence of a certain person in the police department's evidence room. They belong to Officer Jake Marshall. What kind of trace evidence? Bloodstained fingerprints, to be exact. That's the trump card I have up my sleeve today. You do understand what this means, don't you? In order to defend my sister, you're going to have to accuse Mr. Marshall? We have to play the cards we're dealt. Isn't that right, Miss Guy? You would you have to, Mr. Wright. Yes, ma'am. This episode is roughly 1.5 times longer than the case of the Von Karma. God damn! You're right, we have like three more days left to do. Especially with my smooth brain. Word is now in session for the trail of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is. Hmm, I'm afraid you'll have to clarify. It takes 30 minutes by car to reach the police department from the prosecutor's office. Yet the victim, Bruce Goodman, was slain at both places at the same time. But that's not physically possible, is it? That's more. What's more, I hear the victim from the evidence room just disappeared. Yes, and the body eventually reappeared in the trunk of Mr. Andrew's car. Wow, this is one messed up trial. One of my duties as prosecutor is to present impartial evidence. Today, I will present evidence relating to the murder of the, tr of the police department. In so doing, I believe the way in which we should proceed will reveal itself. Now that's what Miss. Now that's what sets Mr. Edwards apart. He sounds so on top of things. But he, he sounds like a top? Is that what he said? That's what I heard. Even though he doesn't know what's going on himself. And that's supposed to be an admirable trait? Very well, let the trial resume. On the day of the crime, what exactly transpired at the police department? Mr. Edwards, you may call your first witness to the stand. Oh, oh, it's first witness. The prosecution calls. A suspect of the murder that occurred at the police department. Meeks? A suspect? You mean the so-called murderer? He's definitely a switch. I think he's the bottom. In all honesty. I don't know. Ask, ask, ask a bottom. They'll know. They can point out another bottom. Will the witness please state his name and occupation? 
Yes, sir. I'm Officer Mike Meekin, sir. Aggravationism. That would be murderer, sir. Okay, man. Our occupation. Uh, are you telling us you're a professional killer? Sir, it was me, sir. I'm the one who did it. I'll never kill anyone again, sir. You've got to believe me, sir. Who let him in with this stupid megaphone? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll get you that. Switch it definitely has a bottom preference. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, actually, I'd like to hear from you. I didn't push a button. Sir, I'm what you would call a part of the younger generation, sir. A person whose actions adults can't possibly comprehend. Please, Mr. Edwards, sir. Help me, sir. <laughs> Officer Meekins. Y yes sir. Give us your report of the crime. Consider that an order. Okay, see, that was some that was some top energy. Or that was some dom energy. Order. Yes, sir, as you wish. After all, I'm part of the generation must be told what to do, sir. Are they flirting? You can't fault him for lack of enthusiasm. I'm sure about that. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day, sir. I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. I was only doing what I was trying to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. I fought for my life. Then I... I did it! After that, I passed out. Until another officer smacked me awake. Did the victim, Detective Goodman, attack you? Do it to others before they do it to you! That's the Beacon's family motto, sir. I see. And you fainted and colleague helped you regain consciousness. Yes, sir! He knocked me upside the head, sir! Very well. Who... Did, do we know who woke him up? I don't think we do. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Fire Meekins, arrest him. Capital punishment. <laughs> Just for being Meekins. What I need here is more info to work with. Let's get it. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. Why? Mr. Meekins, you work in the General Affairs Department, do you not? Yes, sir. I'm in charge of hiring new recruits, sir. Oh, God. I w it's got to scare everyone away. Yikes. Now there's a scary thought. Evidence transfer was taking place on the day of the crime. Which meant many officers were given special tasks not ordinarily performed. performed. I was in charge of guarding the Blue Badger, sir. Really? They gave him the most worthless post because they know he's worthless. The Blue Badger? Yes, sir. The lovely police ma mascot created by Chief of Detectives, sir. Oh, it's so nightmarish. I was to ensure it wasn't broken during the transfer process. It was my sole mission for the day, sir. I see. Sounds like a very, uh, important mission. After the rewards and me finished that day, there were so many people running around. Then I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room. Oh, so that's why you went to the evidence room. Tell us, why did you, what did you see when you got here? Got there. I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. In order to enter the evidence room, you need a badge. You need an ID card. Am I correct? Precisely, sir. I have one right here around my neck. So then, your ID number should be listed on here, right? Hey, let's fill it out. There it is, I found it. This is the one right here. Could you please read us the number? Yes, sir. It's 4989596, sir. That's my number. I see. Hmm. What's the number? 49895596. It's shown as being used twice. Interesting. Please explain, witness. It's no real mystery, sir. The first time is when I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room. And the second time is when I went to get him after everything settled down. Why would you go... If he actually killed someone, he wouldn't return to the scene of the crime like that, right? I see. So we're during the second time when... Yes, sir. That's when I spotted the man on the security screen. Okay. But I thought he said he went to put it... I thought he said he took the blue bladder to the evidence room. 
when he saw the suspicious, suspicious man. The suspicious man. I can't speak today, dudes. Uh, IDs of all who haven't. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that got updated. Sweet. I was only doing what I was trying to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. So you were attacked. Can you please tell us exactly what happened to you? It was a knife, sir. A knife. Detective Goodman pulled a knife on you. What happened then? Well, with me charging it on him like that, he looked as surprised as I was. You aren't exactly the kind of person someone would want to run into. That's when I reacted, sir. I swung my arms like an octopus struggling to detain him. That's how I got this gash in my hand. Maybe if you just... Maybe if you just kept your cool, your hand wouldn't be... When I saw the blood trickling down my arm, I panicked. I grabbed the man by his collar. I fought for my life. Then I... I did it. What exactly do you mean when you say you did it? I know I don't look the type, but I'm really into kung fu films, sir. I was practicing kung fu from uh, internet videos. The man let down his guard for an instant, so I snatched his knife from him. You took his knife? I spun him around and performed a disarming maneuver. I made sure to close my eyes like a man. <laughs> uh, I see. You must have been desperate. The next thing I knew, his white coat was drenched in a sea of my blood. And then, so the next thing I knew... Yes? He punched me right in my face, sir. After that, I passed out until another officer smacked me awake. So you don't know that you killed him if you punched him in the face. About what time did you regain consciousness? No offense, sir, but how am I supposed to know that? I was unconscious. Check the old clock. <laughs> All right. According to the report from the officer that woke up the witness, it was about 5.30. He hit me right in the head, too. I woke up crying tears of pain. It's nice. Uh, I mean, it's nice that you recovered, that is. <laughs> When I came around, though, I made sure to finish my mission, sir. Your mission? Yes, sir. The blue badger, sir. I, retur I returned him to the entrance before things got out of hand. Oops. That was a misclick. I believe we now have a fairly angry picture of what happened. Okay. Gant wanted... the blue badger gone, right? I'm convinced that handprint on the Blue Badger is still significant. Why would Gant want it gone? Sure, it's an eyesore, but I don't think it's an eyesore to the, the level that they would make it go away. It's more of a, oh crap, there's evidence there. <gasps> what if Gumshoe built him and there was a piece of... <laughs> what if there was he used a piece of evidence that they didn't know was a piece of evidence? He's like, I just found some wood in here and I started building him. What if it's something like that? Someone's playing chess here. Everyone is their pawns. Yep. Absolutely. Deacons is the only person other than Gumshoe who doesn't hate the Blue Badger. <laughs> and the uh, Chief of Police. He thinks he's lovely. Yes, Your Honor. Only one thing remains unclear. Was the man this officer murdered really the victim? We're all a victim having to listen to this man. That's the thing. He's got a point. Um, yes, um, yes, sir, was your meekings. With regard to that, sir, take a look at this. It was sent to my JSL. Chief Gant delivered to me just this morning, sir. The chief delivered it. What is that? Er, wow, sorry, Josh. What is that? A videotape? Yes, sir, that's absolutely, absolutely right, sir. A videotape, sir. It contains footage from the security camera in the evidence room. What? I specifically asked if there was such a tape, and was told it had been mistakenly erased. It's quite a mistake. I just do what I'm told, sir. That's the only thing I'm really good at. Looks like communication with the police department is as good as ever. Well then, let's have a look. Show us the video. Oh, sorry. It was the video of you murdering the victim. Oh, please stop using that word, murder, sir. You said you were the murderer yourself. It scares me. A video of a real murder. So what are we getting ourselves into? God, that thing's a nightmare. This is something you would see in Five Nights kind of thing. That's blocking something. Oh.
love fell out. Is the struggle where the, uh, that thing breaks? <laughs> Jar. Why did you sneak up on him? Oh, he attacked him. That looks like Meeks got stabbed. This is a horror game. Yep, well, I believe we're all thinking the same thing. How can we deal with these unsettling feelings stirred within us? What the hell was that wriggling piece of plywood? <laughs> sir, that's a pride and joy of the entire criminal affairs department, sir. It's the blue badger, sir. Why am I not surprised this isn't going as going smoothly? Security video added to the court record. Yes, well, anyway, does no one gonna realize that the guy in the white coat wasn't the one killed? But the officer? Is that why he's so ridiculous? He's like, um, the first trial? They were so ridiculous because they're actually someone else. Or not the, the first trial, the, the boatman, the guy, the boat shack man. They're acting like something else. Dave seems to prove that the witness did indeed encounter uh, someone in the evidence room and some sort of uh, activity did take place. You all know, instead of relying clearly on incomplete footage, the witness's testimony will suffice. Is that all right with you, Officer Meekins? Yes, sir, as you wish, sir. What the fuck? The space can't be clearly seen in the video. But there's no question that other person was Detective Goodman, sir. I mean, he opened the locker, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to, to do. The locker he opened is unquestionably, unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir. So it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. What's this about a fingerprint? Each detective has been given a locker equipped with a fingerprint activated lock. These locks ensure that each locker can only be opened by the, detec the detective it belongs to. Intriguing, that would mean. The victim at the crime scene would have been Detective Goodman. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. Of that one sentence? I don't know where the cross-examination will lead. But everything begins with contradictions. That's where I have to start. His face can be clearly seen in the video. Up. Oh. There it is. Tell me, were you able to get a good look at him? At the face of the man who attacked you with a knife? Sir, if you must label people as having seen or not seen the man's face, I believe it would be classified as the latter. The latter? But oh, you were standing right in front of him, were you not? Or did they point? You are the person who fought him, aren't you? Oh, yes, sir. But I didn't get a clear look at his face, sir. I'm not the kind of guy who looks directly at people when talking to them, you see. Yeah, that's a good trait for a police officer. Still, I'm sure it was him. I bet my badge on it. And you're about to lose it. But there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. But you don't know that for sure, do you? You never actually saw in Detective Goodman's face. Well, I suppose you might say that. It is, if you must... Oh, wait. You just said that. Why is everyone looking at me? Okay, I skipped a thing because I thought I was saying the same thing. If I had to label your stares as disturbing or... <laughs> yeah, stop in Edgeworth, please. Meekins. Uh... Why do you do that to yourself? It's weird. Having been shown questionable video at best, we are not in the best of moods. Now, please be more certain when you testify. Yes, 
sir. You claim the man who brandished a knife on you is Bruce Goodman. Tell us why you are positive it was him. I mean, you open the locker which required Detective Goodman's fingerprints to do. How about these lockers? Is there no other way to open them? No, sir. I myself tried all kinds of methods in the past. Why? He only respond to registered fingerprints, sir. I wonder what kind of methods he tried. If the man opened the locker's, locker's lock, which only responds to its registered fingerprints, then he must be the person the locker was assigned to. Exactly my point, sir! And this, too. The locker he opened is unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir. How do you know that information? I've heard rumors, sir. From people in the know, sir. Hearsay isn't admissible in court. Is that, is that a thing? People in the know. I work in the department of the cafeteria, sir. They keep me informed. They also listen to my romantic troubles, sir. Oh boy. For the record, the open locker did indeed belong to Detective Goodman. I verified this information through a more reliable source. Hmm. So the victim opened the locker with his own fingerprint. So it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. Slam. However, the most important detail is not shown in the video. The man's face. Sir! If I may say something, sir? Please don't. Please do. After all, you are the one being examined. I don't understand why the man's face is so important in this case, sir. I mean, it was his hand that opened the fingerprint lock. And it was his hand that tried to thrust his knife into my body, sir. My unsettled state can terrify. Testify enough to this, sir. Yes, you have a point. Bridge doesn't lie. That is... Unless the defense can find a problem with it. It's all right. Let's check the court record again. Is there a problem with the security video? There's a lot of problems with the security video. Regarding the video contained on this tape, we're going to save. There's one thing in particular that seems rather strange. Strange? This contradiction leads to the possibility that... Man may not have been Detective Goodman. What? This video contains such a grand tradition. Interesting. Your Honor, I have a proposal. The Mr. Wright, we're going to be married. Yes, Mr. Edwards. I propose we have the defense. Point out to us this alleged contradiction in the video. That's what normally would happen, Edgeworth. He would want me to point it out. Well, I do like pointing. Very well, proposal accepted. Let us further inspect this piece of evidence. Shit. We will now play the security tape. Mr. Wright, please show us the contradiction you speak of. I have to point out a problem in the video. This is the first time I've ever had to do that. You can do it, Mr. Wright. It's set up so you can fast forward, rewind, and pause in the video. Oh, sick. Just take a good look and be sure to point out the right thing. Please don't play it too many times. I can't stand watching this video. How did this guy ever become a police officer? Now then, Mr. Wright, please enlighten us. Where is the contradiction that in indicates? I didn't push that. Uh, fast forward. This goofy ass. Oops, I left that thing on. Attacked. Strangle him. Thrown away the thing. He stabbed. See? Right there. Pause. 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 This motherfucker. The thing that's strange about the video. But have to be... Uh, shit, that doesn't sound right. This? Hold on a second. I need to use my eye drops. Well, I don't get it. Um, would you mind if I borrowed your eye medicine? Don't look at me with those bleary eyes. Before your eyes get too teary, perhaps you should think this through again. Now what do I do? What the fuck? I think the contradiction is near the beginning of the video. Uh, you just remember one thing, Mr. Wright. Every time you point your fingers, someone gets hurt. There's the one pointing his finger at us. 
So we're now playing the security tape. I think it's at the beginning, huh? That light was on. Was that it? thing that's strange about this video has got to be this officer meekins sir it's me sir he's the only meekins here aha as i understand it what what's the music as i understand it the locker of apparatus works like this when you grab the handle of the sensor reads your fingerprint if it's a match the light turns on and the locker is released According to my very limited experience, that's the way I understand it, sir. If so, then something is seriously wrong with this picture. Why are we watching it again? it now when the victim reaches for the handle to open the locker let's rewind to a little earlier oh it's just demonstrating it. oh i wish it would be fast forwarded blam here notice the light what's this it's already lit precisely my point your honor the locker has already been is it was already open before victim grabbed the handle. Uh. Why would that scare you? See, you're suspicious. Order, order. What is the meaning of this? It's very simple, Your Honor. The locker wasn't locked on the day of the crime. What? Stop it, Edgeworth. Excuse me. But the locker locks are controlled by an electronic system. When a door is shut, a sensor is triggered. And the locker is automatically locked. So it wasn't shut all the way. Uh, I knew it. I know, we must have broken down. Of course, I'm not an expert in this. That's unlikely, Your Honor. The sensor would detect and report any malfunction. Ah, uh, well, this goes to show novices should keep their metal shut. So then, Mr. Wright, you have an explanation. Me, Your Honor? Yes, why wasn't the locker locked? Me, Your Honor? Yes, well, you see, this isn't exactly my field. What do you think, Miss Scientific Investigator? Yo, Involver, heck yeah. Huh? Oh, um, maybe something like jam the system sensors? Something jam the sensor, you say? What about jelly the sen sensor? There's something else that seems out of place in this video. Yeah, I thought so too. There's gotta be another clue somewhere in this footage. Very well, let's expect the video once more. The locker wasn't locked. Mr. Wright, please point out that uh, I can't... Fuck. Uh... The locker's not locked. All the lights are on. That glove falls out. He walks in. Door's still open. Does it stay open? No, no, no. This isn't going to be it. The thing is... are on oh 
hold on a minute. It's got to be the glove. Maybe that's what, like, it looks like it just falls out, but why would it just fall out, right? Means maybe this is, it was jammed. Please watch closely. This is the continuation of the part I showed you earlier. Yeah, that was it. I think it scared Meekins because you were mildly assertive in your claim. Oh. There's no music and it's freaking me out all of a sudden. Where's Zeus? Something weight fell into the locker. I'm safe! It's been my experience that things fall out when you open, when the doors are opened. I haven't fallen out and roll a great distance when I open my door. We can't be... <laughs> Objection! That was me saying shut up. We can't be sure the item was completely inside the locker to begin with. What do you mean? The sensor triggers the lock when the door is shut. What if something was inserted, say, between the sensor and the door? That sounds like a security problem. In inserted? Ooh la la. This white thing wasn't inside the locker. It was stuck between the door and the sensor. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I understand it now, sir! It's just like my toy! Got it three times I get stuck in the door when I get out of my patrol vehicle, sir! Instead of the door closing, my tie chokes me! Like you do with your stinking handcuffs? But the object would have to be extremely thin to fit in the door. Not only that, it would also have to block electrical currents. It would need to be an insulator. That would set off alarms. Be like, um, it says that we don't have a full current. Oh my god! Security. It wasn't there. Those were doors were terribly bad, or not, not well built. That, that's what happens when uh, you try to go for the lowest bidder. Yes, an insulator, but at the crime scene, there just might have been something that fits the description. But sir, by insulator, you don't mean. I think I finally got this figured out. Show him that glove. Very well. Will the defense please present the relevant, relevant evidence? What was the insulator that was stuck in the locker door? Dun -dun 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 -dun. This one. I found this near the locker. A thin rubber glove. A rubber, you say? But you can't be sure that this was the victim's locker. It has a tag that says SL9 incident. The video seems to depict the victim opening the locker. But that isn't the case. The lit lamp attests to this. On the day of the crime, even I could have opened that locker. This is... Is this not so, Officer Meekins? Sir! It would appear so, sir! Order! 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 So are, so are we to believe, then, that the victim whom this witness stabbed in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman? Do not be misled, Your Honor. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? The defense has merely demonstrated the po that possibility and nothing more. The victim in the video was indeed Bruce Goodman. The prosecution will offer one more testimony to prove this. What? Officer Meekins, please testify about this. S sir! Me, sir! I'm not sure what you're referring to, sir. Oh, you mean that, sir? Of course, sir. Is this a joke? Very well, begin your testimony. Oh, boy. There's one other thing that proves that, that man was Detective Goodman, sir. Go to the evidence room, you must have... One must use their ID card. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. Or... He was killed at the prosecutor's office. Someone stole his ID card, went in, did their stuff, and then went back and dropped it off. At the time of the crime, the detective had used his card. Uh, yeah, because it was only used once, right? So we wouldn't have a, a time frame. Uh, whether or not, because it was like thirty minutes back and forth, they said. An ID card record, I see. I have the ID re card record right here, Your Honor. Is yours different than mine? 
The ID used at 514 is that of the victim. Just before the crime, hmm? Yes, without a doubt, this is the victim's ID. However, one thing does strike me as unusual. Several hundred cases should have been due, have been due for transfer. Why were there so few people, few people using this room? This particular evidence room is only used for storing certain special cases. Special cases? Extremely violent cases involving police staff. Just hearing that makes my hair stand on end. Me too, although it doesn't make much of a difference. There were only a few cases up for transferal there. Most were clearly up by noon. Right, I see. Now let us move on to the cross examination. I should probably save. Right? Let me save. All right, my friends. This is <laughs> this is the most intense uh, version of. Actually, we can we can just go back to the title screen. Ah, uh, we don't have to listen to the crazy intense music while we do an outro here. All right, my friends. Looks like we have a bit more of Ace Attorney Chapter Five to play. Oh, taking that off. Uh, let's see. So I have tomorrow off. Um. I gotta, I gotta do some clean stuff around the house and whatnot, and I don't think I'm gonna be getting uh, the rebirth uh, delivery until like at least 5 p.m. Uh, so if I get everything done uh, around the house that I wanted to take care of, um, I do, I will be logging into work for like two hours though because there, there's a meeting I, I need to be a part of. Um, but if I get everything done and. Rebirth hasn't been delivered yet. Maybe we can try to see if we can uh, finish this because I don't want to put this down for like two weeks. I'll forget everything, especially like all the evidence that's like I need to try to keep it in my head, especially with all the evidence that is in this one chapter. There's so much more. Um, but I'm excited. So if you guys are not part of the Discord, feel free to join that. Um, I'll be posting an announcement in there when... Uh, the, the game gets delivered and when I get installed and when we're gonna potentially go live. Also, I need to spend time tomorrow making sure uh, that my capture card and stuff works with my PS5 still because I haven't turned on my PS5 for months and my capture card's not even plugged in. Uh, I think I unplugged it a while ago to see if I could figure out why I get input lag. Apparently, it's not the capture card. So, um, you are... I can't read that. You are too exciting of a part to quit it. Yeah, exactly. And I don't want to quit it. I'm very much enjoying this. Um, I'm just more worried that I'm going to forget something and it's going to, I'm going to drive myself nuts because there's going to be something very obvious in the evidence that I just don't remember. But uh, we're, we're not going to, we're not going to forget about this. Absolutely not. Um, yeah, we're going to be playing tom Rebirth tomorrow. I, that's the plan. Um, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't show up way late because it's going to probably take like two hours to download. They didn't give an early access download link or anything, unfortunately. Um, I did get my DLC codes, though. Um, I kind of wish a lot of people were getting theirs early. They just couldn't play it because it, it was it's like a preload. I wish I kind of got, got it early so it would be ready for it, but it doesn't look like this case. We're going to play it as long as I can kind of stay up is the thing. Um, I took Friday off so we can play it as long or as many times as I want on Friday. Saturday might play it as well. Um, I do have a dance event Saturday night though. So if I'm a, if I'm not too wiped out from being up so much, uh, we we'll go into that. There's um, also Saturday is supposed to be nice. So I kind of wanted to work on the car, but I think there's just too much here. And it's, it's supposed to be nice, but like 63, it's nice and cool, but it, it's been crazy windy here. So I don't kind of, I don't want to work in wind. Uh, Anyway, let's see. Can we mayhaps go send some love to a fellow Strimstrammer? Is anyone Strimstraminating? Laurelin's playing some Elden Ring again. Foster and Carl are playing American Truck Simulator together. Ooh, who's this person? They're doing art. 
What are you drawing? Tofu? <laughs> Mommy Tofu is just playing Cuphead. That's the game I want to want to try sometime. I've heard really good stuff about it. Don't, 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 don't. I kind of, I would like to write it, but I don't, um, kind of don't want to spoil Cuphead for me. Ben, ben. Yep, Rue is doing Pokemon. Sky's doing Elden Ring. She's back on Elden Ring, is she? Oh, that's kind of cool. First person mod. Oh yeah, she's, she's back to her first person mod. That's, that's cool. Uh, let's go read uh, Laurelin. She's cool. She's she plays a lot of hard games. She's really good at them. Um, and she's playing Elden Ring, and looks like she's trying to do like a, a deathless speed run, which is really cool. Um, so l let's go give her some love. So if you guys want to stick around, it'd be great. There's some uh messages and emotes there for you to use for the raid. Uh, if you are a sub, if you're not, feel free to use the other message or use uh, whatever you message or uh, emotes you have available to you. I I cannot t talk today, dudes. So, uh, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Remember to spay new to your pets, adopt no shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house if it's a possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyways, I invasive. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for letting me be your streamer tonight. I heavily appreciate it. I'm super looking forward to tomorrow. I hope you guys are able to. Uh, show up and uh, enjoy one of my uh, favorite games that are being remade. I'm super looking forward to it. So uh, thank you so much for being here. And I'll catch y'all next time. See ya. Get it. Get it, you hungry. Let's go get some booties. I'm